welcome to this uh, Saturday, what day is it, April 4th-ish, something like that. Yep. See more go on Twitch, and you might be watching this on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and put my cell phone up real quick, just to start off with, so I have it up there in front. There we go. Alright. And uh, I'll be playing some Epic DDO today. Maybe Heroic will see, but probably mostly Epic. Hey, Iron Hands, how is it going today? Nice to see you there. Uh, anything specifically new going on with you? Good, good to hear. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing myself. Alright. Just wanted to check. I'm trying to cross promote my stream and Make sure everything's set up. Let's see where'd that go. I think it's in that. Yeah, it's there. I'm not showing. Uh, probably want to just gain some levels with Shaw. I might play Coley. There we go. It's showing. Good. All right. Good. I've got the feed on Cheap Ass Gamer showing me playing, so that's cool. Um, not sure what else I wanted to do today. Um, that was the big thing. Oh, I did Vaughn last night, but which character did I do it on? How many switch characters for this Vaughn? Let me see. Yeah, I played it on Shaw last night. Looks like... No, I thought it was Var. Yeah, it was... Oh, it was Var, because... That. So let's go over and actually go ahead and get my Rogue or Bard. Rogue or Bard. Not sure which I'm going to get. Let's see, Bard hasn't done anything. Rogue has done a little bit. Probably my Rogue, just to get a little bit higher in uh, Shadow Dancer and get a little more XP. I'm pretty sure that I have not either not done it or not done it much on my Rogue. Let's make sure I've got no timers. I have no timers, so yeah, let's get on there here.
All right, so we'll start off with some Vaughn 5.6 on EH. That should be a good warm up. Get into party chat. Hello, get over there. Things back on. Why is that? Virtual keyboard so large. Should be more like that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. much better over there and you can see on dragon cam or at least you could earlier he was running around there on the right side he looks like he's in the middle bottom middle right now he was restless earlier when I started streaming excuse me he was uh, looks like I was trying to get out running around there in front So what happened this week? Uh, yeah, Tuesday, I think it was, where Titan and I ran some stuff. Uh, we did the Druids chain, and we did the Sentinels of Stormreach chain, the House D chain there. Um, got some pretty decent XP out of that. So I thought, Hey, an extra 100k would be helpful here to get through this destiny. Should definitely get to level 2 and get, open up the Shadow Training 3. Toggle to generate 20 less melee and range threat. Well, that's handy. Just have a toggle to generate less melee threat. That's That'll be fun to use. Work my way up here, figure out what I want. This one, no skills. Reflex, save armor class, and land armor. That might be good. Your enemies can no longer target you. That's cool. Oh, we're in. All right. So I take advantage of the buffs, then run over to disable the trap. What does this one do? Deadly resistance. So let's switch to this stuff. Uh, if only you could wait just a little bit so I could get this for you. Some doors, get some traps going. The corridor is divided by a force wall in line with deadly looking traps on both sides. I don't know which side it starts on.
to look like every other face of the column and then edge. Not horrible. Let's see, make sure my mic is back on. Yeah, alright, looks like I'm doing good. Is that it? All right, it looks like it's it. Cool. Unless somebody calls for the door, but I think we've got enough casters, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see, do I, I don't have strength. So I do, I can do wisdom and range if I have to. Hey, Skunk, how's it going? Not proficient, my equipment. That's fine. Hope you're doing well this morning, Skunk. One, two, three, full. Wrong color. Ah. That's better. You're on purple now. You're still green in IRC though, so it's, I've sort of given up. It still is weird, but I don't know how to force it to change colors for a specific person on IRC. Falls already on. Cool. Not really cool because uh, I should have something else on. Which means I don't have the right gear on. I should be having that on instead of Featherfall. enjoy having the better range on sneak attack and assassinate once tomorrow comes. It's going to be so much nicer. No D doors. Don't have D door unlocked through uh, Never Destiny yet, so I'm gonna have to walk. Which is perfectly fine. It's just kind of annoying to have to do. Uh, I have some traps later, but I don't think everything soon. Remember right. Let's 
make sure that the lower things are unlocked and then we can clear oh, all the things around the chest and all of that. What? Does people haven't cleared these guys yet? What? I'm supposed to assassinate him. So hitting level 21 and being able to equip the paralyzing... Uh, was it High Priestess? Blade? Is definitely nice. No one cleared this? Oh, no, oh, they got released. That's what happened. They already got released. Oops. I was really hoping to get here and just do the traps here and not worry about the rest of it. There it is, it's a 30%. Just making sure nothing else is there. Get the chest. else is there for a rogue to do in the meantime? Well, they're catching up now, so we can go ahead and do that. Forge Exterminator 2. Yay, bonus XP. Assassin didn't really work like I wanted it to. Two close quarters. We have a caster here, so we should have a detour. Hopefully shortly. There it is. Go down the other way and see what's going on over there. This isn't unlocked yet? That's odd. Let me do it, land. Let's get some killing done here so we got the uh, conquest. Uh, 210 should be enough for conquest with everything else we have to do, isn't it? I thought it was. No. Oh well. A disposal chute radiates searing heat 
Go ahead, make sure those are hit. So we're looking at 118 at the moment. We'll get another 5% for the conquest, another 5% for the. Well, there it is. Onslaught. I thought it was close. So we have plenty of there. And uh, first time completely hard for a plus 40% there, so that's a nice bonus. My time of learning. I don't know why I'm not getting daily playthrough sometimes on quests. Two hundred and sixty five is conquest. But yeah. Keep running away. Oh, death mages and their insta kills that. Steal kills for me, so I have to reset my timer on assassinate. Wait 15 seconds for the next one. Blah blah blah. Well, you know what? If you're just gonna insta kill them all, then you insta kill them all, and I won't do anything. I mean, really. for complete for the optional here. And I don't have a voice on this character, so I need to go back and do that at some point. Let's switch to combat mode here. Either Muckbane or Doom or something to dual wield. So everybody ready for, or not tomorrow, Monday, gosh. I keep thinking yesterday was Saturday and today is Sunday, but it's not. Anyway, everybody ready for uh, U25 on Monday? With all the new stuff it brings. I still haven't done the new Delirium from the last update. But I'm looking forward to... Uh, the rogue stuff. <laughs> new stuff to run. Two new huge quests to get through that are supposed to be pretty, pretty difficult. Should be interesting. I have a 40. Uh, 
I'll see if I can use it. Uh, I want to be down here so I can get the box. There's nothing here to drop that ladder, is Yep. I've never actually played it, so... I know some people are really concerned about that. I've never played it, so I'm just hoping it's fun. I don't have any real idea. Well, I mean, I read a summary of it, but that was a bit ago, and I don't remember now what even was in it. So It sounds like a blast, though. I am looking forward to seeing what it, all it entails. Probably be well before I play it, unless I get somebody up there. Oh no, I've got Vars up there at 28. So I, I'm pretty sure there'll be lots of groups for that. Excuse me. Oh. Let's switch back over to my disabling stuff. And back to combat. Can't have all my saving stuff on. Oops. So yeah, I probably there'll probably be some LFMs up for it, so I'll probably get to play it fairly soon since I'm VMP. I'm so used to being premium where as soon as something comes out, I don't play it for six months until it goes on sale. That it's kind of different being VIP and saying, oh yeah, by the way, I can actually play that as soon as it comes out. That's cool. Drop in to sneak. Yeah, Iron Hands, I understand from what I've seen of people talking about it, that it was bigger than they've made it. They chose to concentrate on just the temple itself and not the town outside, which is one way to go. I'm really glad they released that full Ed Greenwood interview. It's uh, interesting to listen to. I was listening to that yesterday. Again, I listened to it a bit when would have wanted to play it during his stream at one time, but it's much different listening to it as a thing in a row. Yep, I'm hoping people that uh, really identify with that adventure enjoy it. I'm sure it'll be fun to some degree anyway, but those of you that actually really know that one from pen and paper should enjoy it. That's part of the reason they made it, right? Oh, almost 156k. Got a new level in Happy Destiny, which I was hoping for. Actually got a level in two ranks, which is nice. Get the bonus XP here and see what uh, else we get out of it. 
Hopefully I can stay alive. Did uh, this last night with my sorcerer bar. And I was assigned to air. And that was a cakewalk. I threw out a... Uh, Acid cloud or whatever it was, and a uh, firewall. And with the other guys that were there, their mobs were dead pretty fast. Then just a matter of getting the pillars down, which didn't take too long. A detour back, nice and quick and easy. Probably the easiest one I've had in a long time. I like how people do this differently. Some people roll 1d3, some people say go wherever you want, some people assign everybody, just depends. I like making sure at least somebody is at each one. Yeah, I don't want to go anywhere. Nobody gave resists. That'll help a little bit. Mm, he's down. I'm not going to be able to do much that does, am I? One, because it's down already, and two, because I'm... Daggers are piercing. I'm pretty sure these are immune to piercing. Yeah, 10 points for down. Just by damage reduction, that's what I thought. Yep. That's what I find, Skunk, is that if you don't provide at least some guidance, then it doesn't go very well. In this chat, at least one, at least one person went to each one, so that's nice. But sometimes, yeah. A little more coordination is nice, rather than less. I think I am going to just, uh... Hi, Panda Pillar. Maybe I'll use my shuriken. Just ping as I can from there. Seems to be heals going on over here. Let's just do this. I've been in too many where only one person that can't really handle it goes to one of the pillars and then they die and then it becomes a, this whole deal. Okay, now somebody has to go over there and help them and then another pillar falls apart because everybody from there decided to go help the other person and it just becomes a mess. So I'm okay with pure assignments because that makes sure at least a couple people are going to be at each even if the rest of them don't follow their assignments. You'll have a couple people there. So you have some backup. But it was like all casters and rogues to air, which was interesting. Now I got a flawless, got a greater token. I'll take it. That's good enough for me. Let's see, there's some tokens, blood, belt, shard of the cloak. Nothing that I really am interested in. So yeah, I didn't plan to start on my rogue, but there being a Vaughn up, I couldn't resist. Take some 
comms for my reward. Looks like I might have a little bit of inventory management to do. I know I have some other destiny management to do, so let's just head back to the ship for a moment. And I'll see if I'm going to continue with the rogue or do something else. I was wanting to get Shaw up there to be ready to do the temple because she's the hardiest of my characters. But, you know, hey, Walk78, how's it going? Yeah, I, Ed Greenwood could just talk for hours and I'd be fascinated. He has a really interesting voice and the way he explains things is awesome. So, yeah. All right, so Shadow Dancer. What are the best things to get in Shadow Dancer? This is a toggle, right? What's this one? Oh, see, I need to remember that. I have Shadow Training too. I should actually move that to where Assassinate is. Only on Alt, that would be fun. Um, what else do we have here? Escape Notice. I should mainly reach the target. Uh, this is that shrouding shirt. And then I can go up here and get Cloak of Shadows, Shadow Manipulation, and Consume. Or I can go over here and get Shadow Form. And get dark imbuement. Hmm. Always hit except when you're all one. That's nice. I like sealed soul. Executioner sounds interesting. Pierce the gloom sounds interesting. Ah, uh, Grim Precision's the key here. That's the one I want. Bypass Fortification. That's the important one. Uh, let's see. We're doing some inventory management next, I believe. Shields, shields. Vorpal Light Hammer of Rapid Strikes. All right. So what's up? End of the road looks like a stuck one. Haunted Hall's Remnant Farm. I haven't done one of those yet, but I don't really feel like doing one now. So, since there's no groups up, and this character really needs a group to be successful, I'll go back to Shaw where I can solo easier. Oh. Yeah. I think that'll be the better thing to do. Greetings, everyone. I see there's some lurkers in now. Thanks for stopping by and checking this out. Let's wait for the airship stuff to load. My inventory bars to load. There we go. And don't forget to trigger power attack. And I think we'll just start in house P today. 
And we'll do the usual runs in house P and go from there. I don't know how many times I've done that. I really want my... Uh, let's see how hard it goes. The sounds and smells of the busy anti great X. I really want my anti great X. I really want my anti great X. This quest refused to drop. Refuses to drop what I need. Speaking of refusing to drop, there are no remnants of that champion. There. I thought there was one more, I didn't know where he went. Yeah, this goes much slower without Thunderforged Axe. Still doable, just slower. The stench of smoke walks down the corridor. Which means Kratos is gonna be annoying. Well, that jump went well. I don't know if there are any official speedruns for DDO or not. As in the speedrunning community official, not DDO forums official. I still think one of the best things I could do would be to add leaderboards, speedrunning leaderboards in particular, to the XP information for the quests. Be able to look up people's speedruns and see how they're doing, how you compare to class, race, past lives, all that stuff. That would be. Something that would be fairly valuable, I would think. Hi, cat. How are you doing? I thought I locked you downstairs. What are you doing up here? I'll go ahead and take these guys out. I only have like 4,000 monster chunks, and you need 10,000 anything useful, really. So, kind of disappointed. I was hoping I had the 10,000 saved up, but I don't play often enough on difficulties that get me monster chunks, I guess. That or I have them stashed on a character that I don't remember where they are. But I don't think so. I think I, I got my most frequently played characters out. I dumped all their chunks into the shared or bag deposit box. So I would think that that's a true representation of what I have. And here we have the fun Kratos monster. And here we have auto attack not working again. So, do it the old fashioned way. As you can see, I'm not really worried about it. I'm not really taking much damage. It's just annoying that I have to hold the boss button down when I should be able to let the Auto attack, take care of most of it, and just trigger the abilities when they come off a timer. Oh well. This is kind of what I imagine playing the Final Fantasy MMO to be like. I'm just sitting here. Waiting for abilities to come out for timer to trigger them. 
Yeah, I don't know why. Because you'll usually when I get into um, party crashers, I go after that first mark with my uh, throwing axes or shuriken, depending what I have. Usually every time auto attack works immediately. But for some reason on Kratos here, it doesn't want to work. It's bizarre. I still have a problem with, I don't know what I have my right click set to, but it's not what I used to have it set it to. And it still throws me off. I'm still not used to it. Because I have it where I can actually go around and see my character from the front now, which I didn't before. But whatever I had it set on before acted slightly differently with targeting and such. So I'm not sure. I had to redo my settings when I redid the um, OS on this machine. My previous settings didn't let me get in the game, which was really annoying, I must say. So I fussed around with the right-click setting for a long time, because there's so many options you can put on it. And uh, ended up with this one because I wanted the ability to do that. See the character from the front, which is fun to do sometimes, but it also is doing other things differently. So I may go back and reset it, see if I can figure out what it was set on, and set it on that again. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Not really that upset about it. Most of the time it works okay. I can still look around like I want to. Watchdogs dream peacefully in the sunshine below. If you're careful, you can some one of these lives I might dedicate some points to hide, or I mean move silently, so I can actually sneak past those dogs. But meh. Almost got hit in there on uh, Rusty. Oh, yay! Greater command got through, and now I'm stuck here. There we go. Now I'm lagging all over the place. That's awesome. Just kill the stupid seer, please. Thank you. Makes the rest of this go so much easier if you kill that seer first. Yeah, I didn't put any points in any of the um, tactical abilities this time, but I still have, I mean, as far as uh, feats, I mean, I didn't put any feats in the tactical abilities this time, but I still took the tactical enhancements, so I don't know what I was really thinking, or I guess that demonstrates that I wasn't thinking very well. I was thinking that the other night, I'm like, wait a minute, why did I do that? That's dumb. I should have put those points into something else, because all I have is the basic trip, really. And it's not going to work very often. Oh, plot. Plot, plot, plot. So I've been listening to uh, the Monster Cat music, and I've realized what I don't like about it, it's like a radio station. It plays the same stuff over and over again. I like streaming music that does not repeat every hour, four hours, eight hours, day, whatever. I much prefer when it doesn't repeat at any. <sighs> Helpless. Get some attacks in here. Trigger my abilities, thank you. How about that one? Thank you. Now see auto attack we're just fine on Garros here. I don't know what, what Kratos' problem is.
Well, okay, legendary victory. I'll grudgingly accept that. Still no anti great axe seal or shard or whatever the heck it is I need. Oh well. Let's go on to party crashers. I don't know what it is about today, but I have a hard time waking up this morning. I was up at like 5.30 when the SO left for work. And uh, see how the tech's working. Took me four clicks instead of two, but still, it's working pretty well. Now well, let's go and do stone skin, because I always forget about that otherwise. I remember when I was switching back from my throwing weapon, but I don't remember it otherwise for some reason. It's weird. The air suddenly shifts from tropical heat to bitter cold. It I'm excited to be on my 10th life. This will be my first arcane epic pass life. Then just two more after that, and I'll have epic completionists. Round one. Hey, cat, you coming up? These arches no. have signal crystals attached on top. Are they simply decorative? With House Fiarlin, though you can see the rest of Stormreach through the skylights above, the light from outside does not reach this room. The Some champion uh, fairies there. Whatever the heck those are. Spirits, that's right. They're spirits. I don't care to fight him. Well, let me tell you, I was zero past lives for until this past year. I was zero epic character, zero past lives until this past year. So I identify with that completely. But once I got this character into epic, everything seemed to accelerate. Like, oh, well now that I'm epic, I need to do stuff. So I ground all the... I think I did one past life. And then I just stayed at 28 and ground out the other ones. And now I'm grinding through... Sorry. I stay at 28, ground out all the rest of the destinies. That's what I meant. And then went back to getting all the past lives. So, I plan to be triple epic completionist on the next character, but we'll see what changes are coming to epics and past lives. Since we'll have a new class, it may do something different. Or they may wait. I don't know. They said they Last I heard, they said they weren't going to mess with Epic Destinies for a little while, at least. They have too much other stuff to get going. But i got to figure that Warlock is a sign that there's probably going to be more. If they get two more classes in, they'd almost have to have another sphere. I don't know what that would be, because they already have Arcane. As I understand it, Warlocks are Arcane. They're like Arcane Marshal, something or other. So I don't know. I mean, I still don't, ha haven't ha don't have any TRs or Iconic. So I only have Epic Pass Lives completely on all my characters. Of my, what, 15 characters that I have. Two of which I concentrate on, and a couple that I've been playing here and there. Because I have this axe, I'm pretty sure I need to get rid of some of these. I can probably stay ahead of his heals from the marks, but I think I'll be better off at least taking some of them out. If I want to take some of them out, I might as well take them all out, except for this stupid overrun crap that happens. 
I mean, Divine, I could switch to the other Destiny to have the immunity to knockdown. But. Eh, whatever. This one's fine. I just dread switching over to Arcane Primary Destiny. That's gonna be annoying. They don't really add much to a melee fighter. They really don't. Come on, let me trigger all this stuff. Don't be stupid. There we go. I'm pretty sure that I might have to replace the mouse on my other laptop. It's one of the old um, Razer Nagas, and it has a problem with liking to double click for no apparent reason. Which is particularly annoying when you're doing inventory management, you're trying to switch stuff around and tag something for trash, and you accidentally equip it instead, and then you tag the thing you had equipped for trash. Stuff like that. I was helping the SO with oh gear last night. And that was happening pretty much constantly. It's, it was annoying. And I know it's just web browsing and stuff. You gotta do something and it double clicks instead of single clicks it. So, gonna have to replace that mouse with something. I may try that Logitech version of the Naga. The ballroom is on the I never side remember what their stuff is the numbered. Next to the security gates, a large but dragon mark of shadow is there's also uh, it a couple other MMO mice out there. Not be able to destroy it as you did with the marks in the illusion area. That's cool. Good thing about that is that the they have lots of experience in the game and they can help. Oh, it looks like it the bad thing is that they tend to just. I find that people, a lot of times that have that, tend to lose the um, I don't know what to call it. Tend to forget how difficult some stuff is as a first life. <laughs> the 520. Okay. I know the G13 is my game board, and I have a G15 keyboard upstairs. I think. And beyond that, I couldn't tell you. The illusions in this display hall don't appear to be interactive like the ones in the illusion area. I don't like that everything has to have its own huge driver anymore. My headphones have a huge driver. My mouse has a huge driver. My game board has a huge driver. So I have at least three huge drivers for this stuff. And of them, I don't like razors. Logitech is OK. The Steel Series one's okay. Not great. I'd rather not have it, but it's okay. But razors I don't really don't like. Finally reach the House Fiarlin Grand Gala. Now to find the guest list and add sign. Then I got the GeForce Experience, my graphics card. Just blah. Oh, I wanna get a job so I can spend money again. The party guest here seems like a harmless I've got uh but that facade does not fool you. Some stuff on hold until I can actually justify spending money. I think I'm finally going to put a desktop together again. It's been several years since I've had a desktop. And I think I want to do that. We'll see. I'm still... T either that or I'm going to get another laptop, gaming laptop or both. Because the other laptop is also being flaky here and there. I did that Asus laptop thing where it decides to... Uh, oh, look, the Contessa is a champion. Nice. Where it just goes and does uh, really annoying loud static for no apparent reason. Hi, Cat. How you doing? And let's let her walk again. Yay. So we went out yesterday. We were going to go to lunch, and then 
do some shopping and hang out for a while and blah 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 and we went to drop the dog off at daycare and they said oh nope there's no spaces free unless you have a reservation we're like what oh it's spring break everybody's pets are in boarding or daycare or whatever plus Easter weekend and all that so yeah we ended up having to come home we stopped by where did we stop by oh Popeyes they had some new spicy chicken thing that we tried that was meh, okay but uh, yeah we had planned on going to a nicer place and sitting down for lunch and then going shopping and nope didn't happen so I think we're gonna I don't know if they did that yesterday we're gonna see if there's an opening at a different daycare place for the dog tomorrow because they're off again tomorrow and uh, do that but today they're working so I am streaming probably stream let's see it's 10 now around four hours more Yeah, it wasn't really a night out. It was afternoon, sort of out. It was lunch, and then after, and then we were going to pick them up. Because, you know, for daycare, you have to pick them up, depending on which place you go to, between, like, 6 and 9 p.m., something like that. I don't remember. But, yeah, it worked out. Did a little bit around the house. And actually got some inventory management done. Static group characters and stuff. Played some Don't Starve. What else? So it wasn't horrible. We still hung out here and did stuff, but yeah. Looks like we'll be able to tomorrow, I hope, go without the dog. That's the one thing I don't like about the dog is that he is. has such anxiety. Why can I not do anything? There you go. Well, will you please trigger? Mm. Gotta take out some of these casters. Well, that's working, which is nice. Now, if I could just get. Yep, that's what's afraid of dancing. I forgot to trigger my ability on four. <sighs> so I was fine until I couldn't get rid of the casters fast enough. That's really annoying. Okay, my will save is 27, so that's part of it, but. That's still really annoying. I should be able to do that. I don't know what the big deal is there. It should not be that hard to do. Err. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do that tomorrow and go out. But if we leave the dog by himself, it's not a good thing. He either, if we the old cages we had, um, we he would break out of. He'd break the metal cages. We got a new, stronger cage, actually older. It was used, but it was the old style. With, it was much heavier gauge metal. And he hurts himself. He makes himself bleed trying to get out. If we don't cage him, he will chew stuff up. Thankfully, it's mostly the recycling or the trash, but it's the recycling or trash then all over the house and messy and everywhere. And it's just... He has separation anxiety big time. Yeah, Shaw is 21 at the moment. So, we had him to the point a while back where he, we could leave him for like 45 minutes an hour. Which was nice, we could go to breakfast or lunch or dinner or something. And as long as we didn't go to a place that took too long or was too far away he'd be okay when we got back. But then we decided, hey, he's doing fine. Let's go to lunch and then 
go out shopping, come back three hours later, and he was a mess when he got back. So, yeah. What was I doing? Oh, I was going to look at my enhancements real quick. I can get better will save, can't I? No, I get fortitude saves. Spell effects. I'm going to reset this tree real quick. So I need to spend more in here if I'm going to do that, or I can look at something else that might help. Wendell skills, another stat, energy. Yeah, nothing else really is that great. If I spend three more points, I'd have two points to spend on that or that. It's kind of high up in the tree that I don't really need all that stuff. Whereas over here, I could get saving spell effects, which is probably what I need. Just spell effects. And that'll give it my axe training again. And that does it. So, yeah, I think that'll help. Because I really don't need those. Um, watch my columns. Tactical feats. Uh, so I didn't take them. I didn't take the improved versions of them. That should help a little bit. Having plus three to save against spell effects, that'll raise my... Saves a little bit. Spies, don't tell me how long that's been going. Vaughn, which I was still on timer on. Or my bard, no one wants to see Vaughn again, so... Actually, I'm going to go to Evening Star. Let's see, is that what I want to do? Yeah, I'll go to Evening Star. So yeah, I'm, I'm 21 with my rogue, Coley, and Shaw, my fighter. I'm 20 with Gooeyweed, my bard, and I think, I, yeah, I'm 28 with Var, my sorcerer, at the moment. And everybody else is 16 or below, except for my static group monk, which is 17. We had a hard time in... Um, what was it? In the Flesh. That's right. That's what it was. In the Flesh this week. We died 35 times in that one. Had to recall out and come back in several times. Then we finally got together and it wasn't a big deal when we finally did it. It was one of those where we could have done it all along. We just weren't approaching it right or something. It didn't help that one guy kept going in by himself. And the rest of us sort of Oh, well, he needs help, so we must go in. Yeah. He was he was surviving surprisingly long by himself, but eventually, you know, they catch up with you. And people weren't prepared. Like, somebody ran out of spell components they couldn't to resurrect anymore, and somebody else ran out of raised dead scrolls, and it was just... As you enter One of those pretty much anything that could have gone wrong. Yeah, it did. If it could have, it did. So that was kind of rough. But we finally made it through. It took us... I have to check the video time again. It's probably hour 45, maybe? We had, I want to say, 35 deaths and all that. It was pretty ridiculous. It was not good at all.
That wasn't the worst though. One of my friends, he was actually, he stopped by on the channel a couple times. One of his cars needs $4,000 worth of repairs. It's, the cars were $2,000. He has a second car that's actually a minivan that needs, uh, he hasn't even taken it in yet, last I heard, that had a problem getting into and out of park. So his, even his backup vehicle isn't working. And then his grandmother died on top, top of everything else. So he's been having a really rough week. I would not want his week for anything. That reminds me, I need to take the, my vehicle in. For an oil change, at least. In the deep foliage of the room. He's the one who went to Paris for a week and just got back and all this stuff happens to him. It always seems to happen like that. You, it's like, you know, I don't do stuff like this forever. I'm going to spend some money, do this thing, and then you come back. Oh my god, I should have done that. Now I need to spend all this other money and all these other things happened. Yeah. Just a rough time. Oh, how I want my Thunder Forged. Oh, how I want my Thunder Forged. So bad there. It's the man in gray again. Always one step ahead. I keep thinking I should join a different guild on one of my characters just to see. But. I don't like being disjointed like that, where I'm on one guild, if I log onto one character and a different guild, I log onto a different character. It just. I've done that before and I didn't like it. I like knowing, hey, when I'm on, I can see who's in. on for my guild. And I have a different set of, set of people. Yeah, it's just a huge jump in DPS. Even just the level 22 one over these. Ones that I have, which are, I think, 18s. They were 21s, but I used the Festival Cold Resistant and dropped them to 18, or however that works. That smell, the smell of corruption. Look sharp, to arms. I used to have to wait a level and use Green Steel for level 20 to use them, and now I can use them straight off, which is really handy. Plus, they do a little extra damage. Just a bonus. But it's nothing compared to Thunderforged. Another legendary victory. I'm doing good tonight. Get those guild levels up. But of course you are. Danger is an old song in your song. We were 83, weren't we? Let's see. Yeah, just over 83. You've heard of our order? I came in search of a missing nobleman. Yeah. And with Epic Green Steel coming theoretically by the end of the year, it should be even more interesting to see what they do with that when we have all those options and flexibility. Which reminds me, I need to get on VAR and do some green steals. I need to run something one more time to get the blank, and then I need to get the whole second item built. I've got a bunch of shards just sitting in inventory because I don't have enough space. It's only sure being space that's on sale right now, isn't it? I think so. I want personal inventory space and bank space to be on sale again so I can get some of that. So yeah, that was under five minutes. That was decent. That's something I'm just... I don't know why Thunderforged is such a huge DPS boost. I understand the flexibility aspect of it. 
with the base damage boost plus being basically meddling. That's just ridiculous. It goes a little too much. But now that we have it, we're used to it and we use it, so that's how it is. It's so easy to get as long as you have the thing, the pack. I guess if you're cynical, you can say that's why they did it, so you buy the pack, but. No people are selling blanks for Thunderforged all the time. Some for ridiculous amounts considering what it is. Just the first level blanks. But it is useful. I end up buying my I can't remember, I think it was my twenty four? Yeah, it was 24. Off the Astro Shard auction house. This wizard has taken ill just like the other patients. Magical might did not protect him. Yeah, but I mean, I'm I'm okay with things just being more flexible rather than necessarily being more powerful. So like if it's something named but has something that's normally not in that slot. Um has some effect or something like that, or has a bunch of augment slots, or you know, something unique. That's fine. It doesn't have to do any more damage or add any more AC or anything than everything else out there does. It just needs to be something different that'll be useful. I think that's a true. Yeah, I know. It's. I, mean, I, I know it's the nature of the game to some degree, but it's still just. Let's make a equivalent to the Epic Sword of Shadows that is a different weapon type. <laughs> you know? Let's do something like that. That's more interesting than just adding another. Oh, this one does 45 base damage instead of 42, or whatever. I mean, obviously, when I get to the level, I use the Orchard Gear, because why not? But, and it's so easy to get. That's the big thing about the Orchard Gear, is it's so easy to get. There's groups up for it fairly often, and they usually run the whole chain. You at least get one drop at the end of the chain, so you know, you've got that going for you. I'll uh, just take these guys out. I don't usually do that, but. The wisps are the most annoying things. If you get the wisps taken out, the other guys are easy. Yeah, I haven't really looked at the temple gear. I know there's some stuff out about it, but I don't think I have any of the haunted halls drops. I don't hardly ever do haunted halls. I think I've done it three times total. But the great thing about the Orchard Chain is that it, the Chain Reward gives you the gear, too. So you actually, every time you run the chain, you have two dro two chances of the drop. And a lot of times I find people will pass gear that they don't necessarily want, they already have a bunch of. So in, at least in my experience, compared to a lot of other quests in that loop, I find the Orchard stuff to be really easy to get. Relatively speaking. 
I mean, yes, it takes a while to get the full set, but you get usually you get uh, what two, three pieces every chain run, and if you don't, you at least get one in your end reward for the chain. Even if it's one you already have, at least there's a selection there. I've taken Guild Renown from that quite a few times, but I have also gotten the last the one piece of gear that I was looking for at the time out of that end reward. So Yeah, it's random, so you're you know it's gonna be different. Your experience is gonna be slightly different, but in general I find it to be one of the easiest places to get gear for being such high level gear that's hard to beat in most slots. Unless you do something like run Mark of Death three hundred times or Whatever it takes. Oh, I don't feel like you On the well. Let me get back there in a second. I'll take the trophy here. Back to the well. Let's see. Ah, come on, get me up there. No, one of the, the ledge of the well. Oh, well, can't get a good angle. Ah, get up there. Why? Why? Why can I not get up there? I keep bouncing off. Oops. So there's Iron Hands. Got a PDK shield. Looks like a Thunderforge Dwarven War Axe. I have no idea what armor that is. White Dragon scale, maybe? And it's looking kind of serious. Did you want to run something, Iron Hands? I can sw swap over to Var, who's 28 as well. We can run Orchard or whatever you feel like. Oh, there's the helm. Go back up to that pose. I want to see that eye. <laughs> that dragon eye is awesome. Hey! The dragon eye is awesome on that helmet. <laughs> and Voldwin also wants to show off blue dragon scale I presume some white glowing eyes and then if I do this let's see if I turn this way and do this you can see us all together let's see me with my mask Ah, okay. That's cool. Let's see, about right there. I'll take a screenshot. Anyway. Yeah, I actually should have lunch here shortly. But I'm in the middle of this chain, so let's finish this chain up. And I might do... Uh, don't drink the water as well. That for sure will not be on... Hard. Until I get... Thunderforge. Because I will not be doing enough damage. Until I have Thunderforge against the dragon at the end. Go away, Dire Bear. Get 
really amazed at how fast the bear is moving here. Because they look like tanks, like they'd be moving slowly and ponderously, but they really move pretty fast. I can keep up with you by trying to get away from them. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to have for lunch. I don't even know what we have. And I went to the store yesterday and spent a bunch of money and I still don't remember what we have. Food is so expensive. Well, I didn't get only food. I got some junk too. I still wanted some chocolate stuff, so I got some chocolate stuff. Some stuff was on clearance, so I got some stuff that was on clearance. And this, that, and the other. Mostly food, though. I went to the store when I was hungry, that was the problem. Oh, I know what I want. I want to finish off those. They had some uh, gluten-free pretzels that are yogurt covered that were on clearance that I almost ate half the bag. No, I probably did it, eat over half the bag yesterday. Finished those off. Those were really good. Really enjoyed those. Then have something else. I got a spicy chicken sandwich or something like that. I'll probably break that out. I forgot to get barbecue sauce though, to put on it. They're kind of plain. I got some sausages I could probably grill for dinner. They had some hot Italian sausage. Got that for myself and some mild that I got for the SO. Not sure what else I'm going to do food wise today. Let's see how they feel when they're off work. Oh, next week there's so many things going on here and they have to work. So I don't know if I'm going to be streaming next Saturday. There's a kite show at one of the local parks. we got really big kites that are going to be flying. There is a local home show that I would like to go to, see if they have any interesting freebies. First year I lived here, went there and got a ton of grocery bags. And last year I went and there were no grocery bags at all. What? What's the deal, guys? Don't cheap out. Where's your grocery bags? And then some other fun stuff, you know, magnets and general swag. I got a phone stand or tablet stand and some other junk, but it's fun to get out, spend a quick half hour hitting all the places to get all the swag, and then coming out. Uh, there's a relative's kid's birthday party, or not relative, a friend in the area whose kid's having a birthday party, and it's also International Tabletop Day, so could go to the game stores and get freebies and stuff like that. It's just all sorts of stuff going on and the SO has to work. So I don't know if I'm going to be streaming or not. Let's see how I feel. I've been kind of antisocial lately, so if that trend continues, I may not go anywhere. At the minimum, I'd like to go hit breakfast, maybe, and the home show. That would be the minimum, but I'm not sure what to do about the dog then. Really can't take him with me. He's gonna freak out if I leave him here. So, uh. Boarding might be available by then, or daycare, I mean. We've got two major places we take him to daycare. One is a lot cheaper than the other. 
but the hours aren't as good and it's not quite as nice a place. I'm fine with it. Yeah, so I'd rather take it to the more expensive one. Which is more flexible because they're open later. It's a little nicer place. But. You know, you pay for that. And it's a lot further away. So. Yeah, we'll see. But again, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out and watching me this morning. I'm going to try to make it a regular thing as long as the SO keeps having work on Saturdays around these times. Which, on the one hand, I'm, la I'm glad because it's a regular shift, and I like that. I don't like when the shifts change and I never know when they're working. On the other, though, it's nice to have weekends together, so we'll see. Hey, Iron Hand, thanks for stopping by. Hope your dinner goes well. Hey, Dags, how's it going? Oh. You are near to Druid's Deep. And the dying Druid are we watching, you know, feel free to interact if you want. Nothing wrong with just uh, lurking. That's cool. But uh, I do watch chat and do enjoy interacting with people. Good, Dags. Glad to hear it. Saw you were streaming the other day for a little while. Hope things are going well. Oh. I'm still trying to wake up, man. Just doing the epic XP grind at the moment. There wasn't anything group-wise exciting. Of course, now there's Vaughn threes and Whiz Kings and stuff, but there wasn't much left to my check, so I figured do the Druid chain and maybe don't drink the water, and then we'll see where we're at. Get another level, get my Thunder Forge out. I should be able to go back and actually finish Party Crashers, um, along with that respec I did for the extra saves against the stupid dances and hold monsters and stuff that I keep getting hit by. Yep, may as well. That's why I'm kind of doing it. I, my only regular day is the Tuesday, but. I figure these times when uh, the SO is working, it's the weekend, so I don't have to pursue my job hunting is quite as strong because it's weekend and a lot of people don't do that stuff on weekends, don't reply or anything. There's still some job postings I could poke into and look at, but not as much. I figured I'd get some streaming in. I've actually been having a lot of fun on these Saturdays. As much as I want to have a larger community on my personal stream, I like kind of that it's small and I pretty much quote unquote know everybody. I like that. End up doing a lot of good things with regards to uh, character tweaks and gear tweaks and discussions about the benefits of this or that item or character build or whatever. I find it happens a lot more in here than it does on DDO stream for some reason. I like DDO stream as well, of course, but there's something different about being a personal channel than the uh, official channel. And it's not just the difference in attendance. It's uh, a little bit more than that. But it's fun. 
I'm glad to hear Queen's coming back. All that fun stuff. I really like the uh, DDO Twitch community in particular. DDO community in general has been good, but I like the uh, in general the streamers community we have is fun. I feel like we should have our own mailing list or something. I don't know. Seems like there should be a better way to contact everybody. When things are happening, and things go wrong. Help cover. Hey, Clan Side, how's it going? Good to see you again. Yeah, I mean, there's other games that have people streaming, but it, it doesn't have the same feel to it. It's like, it's more individual streaming, where it seems like we have a more community streaming thing. Uh, it's interesting, the way it's working. And I really like the fact that it's not just US-centric or English-centric. There's people in different countries, like the Polish guys that are doing that, uh, Gravisers. I don't know if the rest of the people he plays with are streaming or not, but I know him as a specific example. It's just really nice. Oh, Hall same. You want to be so much more powerful than you actually are. I end up watching a lot of other games, streams, and... Granted, I don't watch a lot of other MMOs, although I have watched a couple. It, it, the streaming just, I don't know what it is, has this completely different feel. There's a lot of snipping, sniping against other people, and gossip, and blah blah blah. No, I have uh, the epic past life stance that gives me heals. And then I have the, um, oh, Sun Soul set. So, I can show you, but let me just do this real quick. I've got that, which shows you a lot of my stats and gear and stuff. And the first two images are clickable, the image maps of different stuff. That's actually a life or two ago at 78 or 79, but I've got the, let's see, where are we? So I've got the uh, vestments of the Sun Soul, so I've got the Way of the Sun Soul. So when I roll a natural 20 on attack roll, that's confirmed critical hit, you gain temporary benefit, blah, blah, blah. And if you look up here in my form of the Rising Sun, I get Cure Mono Runes and Restoration. Just because I'm in sun stance. Plus, I've got this fast healing past life stance. So I get the every minute I've got 15 hit points plus 15 per five character levels, blah, 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 going on. So that's how I mitigate a lot of the damage and uh, stay survivable. And it has worked out all really well for me from. 20 to 27 and then once I get to 27 I switch to the whatchamacallit set oh we're just talking about an orchard 
Epic Orchard set, and uh, I lose my stance bonus, but I gain a lot more of that doing that. So, yep, that's why you see me healing constantly while I'm in combat. And if I have to, I've got Cocoon, and I've got the uh, Consecrate Ground So at, at the moment. And those are working well. Usually it keeps me alive in the content that I run. You get to some of the higher EHs or EE, and it doesn't do enough. But normally in the ENs or lower EHs, it works fine. Oh, I shouldn't do this till I level. I was just said that. I just said I'm going to take the level and equip my Thunder Forged, and I didn't do it. Let's try that again. Uh, they are over this way. That's right. Over that way. Over this way. Around here somewhere there's a little platform with a the guy. There it is. This is a boring level, isn't it? Yep. Here, have some hit points. And save increases, of course, which are nice. More importantly, have your Thunderforged axe. That'll help a lot more. Alright, now I feel more confident taking the dragon on, because I've got the uh, much bigger base damage that will help a lot. There's no reason not to reset that, since I just barely stepped in. Alright, let's remember stone skin this time. And... We will invis through this first part. I was so surprised when somebody showed me all the uh, hidden chests in here. I had no idea. But they just have general loot, and uh, I'm after XP, not loot, really, at the moment. Where I'm going. So much less effort if you skip by this first bit. Before I rolled, or I farmed up that invisibility cloak, it was a pain. Be close to the surface once again. Trying all those yon tea and the dire bear back up here. Magical barrier preventing you from passing further. Yon tea appear. Emerge. So much easier to shake at least a couple of yon tea here. Yeah, that's a big difference in damage. Oh, don't you do that. Getting up on rocks and weird places thing. Er. Yeah, I don't really do too much uh, gear swapping between levels 20 and 27. I'll put on my Ring of Shadows at 23. And switch axes out. 22, 24, 26. Other than that, um, I've got the iron mitts available. What 24? 
and I really can't think of much else I do. 27 is a big one. It's kind of a waste because I have all that gear for that one level. <laughs> But it does mean I'm more comfortable doing the harder stuff, so if Epic Elites are up, I'll feel more comfortable being able to join when I can survive a lot better. Or like Haunted Halls, or the Thunder Peaks raids, or something. Mark of Death. Stuff I don't normally do, but... I'm up there already. Might do. Yeah. Definitely level 30 will make a difference. Right now if it's 28, it's, there really is no point to it. I don't worry about it. Yeah. But then of course with level 30 will come level 30 gear. So you'll have the same problem at level 30, I think. It depends on what you're doing. If you're sitting at cap, you know, it makes it you find yet a lot more sense than if you're continually epic reincarnating like I am, or TRing like some people do, or iconic, or whatever. If you're in the completionist grind, then it doesn't make a lot of sense. That's also why all my level 27 stuff, I, don't, I haven't bothered with the augments at all. I haven't upgraded any of it. Because really, for one level, it's such a power jump by itself that I don't need augments in it at the moment. I don't stay up there. So why bother? I don't have that many high-level augments anyway. Yeah, that's true. You'll be grinding for the epic green steel and sentient weapons and whatever else is up there. Yep, it's almost better to wait to do your all your destinies until all that comes out, because then you'll have, you'll be making use of sitting up there, grinding out the rest of your destinies and stuff. I guess I don't know. I think that's what people have been complaining about. Is there's not much to do once you're up there, and you've already got your all your destinies unlocked, except grind for gear. A large green dragon has made this oh, let's see. Land. Definitely need to put my Azure's Resist on. I don't want to speak on him to die. You know, I'm always told not to play with my phone. That's one of the reasons I'm trying to get through Shaw's Epic Completionist, is because I want to do that before th the cap gets raised to 30. I might suffer through my other characters doing it, but... At least this one I'd like to get through while it's still 28. At this point, depending on how much I play this particular character, it can take a week or two. Which isn't horrible, as far as I'm concerned. Doing mostly solos, getting daily playthrough bonuses and all that. Hmm, Flawless Green Dragon Scale. And my timer on the uh, Green Dragon Poison isn't that bad, so I can finish out fairly quickly for once. So now I can go back and do Party Crashers again, and hopefully not get stunned and dead. It's so annoying, I shouldn't have to worry about that. Because there's nothing else in Evening Star that I do normally that I really care to worry about at the moment. I don't really do anything else in here, unless there's a group going on a chain that's just starting. They happen to hit.
I don't particularly like Winter in the Underdark or King's Forest or anything. Interesting areas, but I much prefer the areas where you can teleport right to the quest entrance. It's also why I don't really, one of the reasons I like Giant Hole either. Um, let's see, Party Crashers and then House D, probably. Do my usual two there, and then maybe hmm. yeah, I'll probably do spies and whisking after that, and then call it for a shot at least. Depending where I am time-wise, I might bring another character on, or if somebody wants to join. It's another reason to bring another character on, but at the moment, that's my plan. Suits 11, 12, 1, 2. Yeah, I'll probably be on there for 3 or 4 more hours, roughly. We'll see. And I should be ready to go back to Party Crashers. I am going to take a short break here shortly, probably after Party Crashers, to have a quick lunch. But other than that, I should be streaming for the next four or so hours. Dog looks like he's asleep on the couch, so he's okay. For another hour, hopefully, at least. Alright, this better go more smoothly this time. Oh, wait a minute. I want to be on hard. I didn't want to be on. Actually, you know, it's not going to matter. Because hard's not going to do me any good now that I've leveled. Just slow me down. I'll just do it easy and, or normal and make sure I get it done. Oh. I did not switch. Get the text out of my way so I can see my stuff. It is difficult there we go. to tell what is real and what I keep a Thunderforge shuriken around just to have something better to throw with. With a marks and channels shattered, the illusions around you dissipate. The way deeper into the illusionarium is open. My stance not on? Oh, no, because I was uncentered. Using the axe, that's right. It is as if you were teleported leagues away. Yeah, my lower level item for throwing is an axe because I'm a dwarf and I've got all the axe bonuses. Unfortunately, throwing axes don't count as axes for purposes of my Kensai focus, which I think is really annoying. So I don't, I get uncentered if I use them, and that, therefore I don't get my stance or the bonus for the Sun Soul set. But a shuriken counts, so that's why I have it. Once I hit 22, then I don't have to worry about it. I just switch to throwing weapon as a shuriken, and then I stay centered, and I don't have to worry about uncentering when I'm doing ranged. Which I only do for things like this quest and anything else where you need to do something at ranged particularly. It's not really high DPS for me. Breakables and occasional target levers and such. And this quest for figuring out which one's which and then if it's one of mid air ones, which it isn't this time. Oh, if I can get over there. There we go. I actually killed the Mark of Shadow before the Scorpion swallowed it. That's bull. No, he ducked instead of dying. I should be able to just kill it 
before it does its illusionary thing. Oh well. If it don't happen, it don't happen. Dog snoring. <laughs> I almost want to take a picture of him. <laughs> he's got his mouth open. You can see his teeth. He's like chewing in his sleep. It's funny. <laughs> he's got his legs out like he's hog tied. Oh, dog, you're so funny sometimes. The marks of shadow around this chamber are restoring the illusionary giant's health. Um, just, no, I got it. Alright, if you're going to be annoying, I'll just take you out. There we go. Once you get up and get that Thunder Forge, it's just amazing how much easier all this stuff is. Fialan's Illusionarium, but you still need to enter the Chapter House and stop the Maleficent Cabal's attack. Did you actually give it to me? Yeah, you did. I don't know why that lags so much sometimes getting stuff out of a chest. But that was nice. I did a cleave and one storage bin is left in the middle. Not at the end, the middle. That doesn't make much sense, does it, Cat? You gonna come up here? The Fialan chapter house no. must have been closed as a precaution. Ah, dog moved before I could take a picture. The ballroom is on the far side of the chapter it's too bad. house. And it seems rather unlikely that house next to the security gates, a large dragon mark of Why did you do that, dog? Into the wall. If it oh, I got a phone call. Hold on, please. You not be able to destroy it as you did with the marks in the illusion area. The Chapter House Theater normally hosts stage plays for Fialan's elite patrons. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gala. The illusions in this display hall don't appear to be interactive like the ones in the Illusionarium. They probably won't attack you. Hopefully. You 
You finally reach the House Fiarlan Grand Gala. Now, to find the guest list and add Cyan's name. The party guest here seems like a harmless old elf, but that facade does not fool you. You easily see through to the malicious tiefling underneath.
All right, sorry about that. I am back, successfully did Party Crashers, which it was a cakewalk. So, there we go. Yeah, dogs aren't quiet, generally speaking. It's easy to tell when they're around. Especially ours, when he walks on the hardwood, his nails. We get him cut and it lasts for maybe a day, and then you can hear him again. It's pretty ridiculous how loud his nails are on the floor. Got effects off, so the black lock here shouldn't affect me when I get into that room. Yeah. That's the only reason I'm thinking of getting a desktop. I want to see if I can put one together that can actually handle that room without slowdown. The other reasons I want to have a my game window stretching across three screens, I think that'd be fun. I love those screenshots you see from people that have done that. I've got two monitors upstairs in my office, so a third one would be perfect. But that's all predicated on me getting another job shortly, hopefully. I found some jobs that are right up my alley. And hopefully, they'll one of them will hire me shortly. Not have it a long wait. I'm getting kind of bored of the vacation now. At first, I was liking it. I was enjoying, you know, hey, look, I don't have to go here, there, and everywhere. Don't worry about work, but I need that structure stuff. It helps get through the day, because, like I said, I'm forgetting what day it is and all that stuff. Oh, that's not what I want. Guild chat. Hi. Not in a party. Luckily, I still have my severance to live off of until, well, for a while yet, before I have to really get worried about scrimping and saving a lot, but I'm trying to cut down a bit on expenditures until I do have a job nailed down and more income. I frankly have to spend too much time job hunting to stream every day. And I would not make enough money streaming unless a miracle happened in the amount of time I have left on my severance. So, Although that'd be a fun thing to do eventually, it's not going to happen in the near future, so I have to act like it won't happen. Where? Who is casting all the webs? Seriously, who's casting all the webs? I hear somebody, but I don't see where they are. Hmm. That was odd. I just heard another webcast. What is going on? So 
think we're doing pretty well today. Just relaxing, going through the fun XP grind. I need to look up the uh, arcane epic destinies again and figure out which one I want to get. So Titan I did this the other day. He had never been through all these at all. Um, and I only play a couple of them normally, but I was my rogue, which hadn't done them, so we had to do them all to unlock tide turns so we could do that one, which is the next one I'm going to do here. I don't bother with the other ones normally, I just do. Spies, of course. Mm -hmm. Black Lock and Tide, I don't mess with running out to either of the other ones. One, because the ballistas hurt, and the other one just... I don't feel like running out through Searing Heights all that often. That was interesting on Tuesday to do that. The replay's on YouTube if, or Twitch if you'd care to see it. Yeah, see, no slowdown at Black Lock if you have your post processing turned off. It's the reason why I leave it off most of the time. I don't like the way water and such looks, but the couple places it's handy, it's really handy. Anytime there's Shadow Fell, Purple Haze, or in this particular quest by the Black Lock ship itself. Um, it just uh, avoids problems with the slowdown and annoyances. So yeah. You can't even trip a spirit caller. Unsurprising, really, but still disappointing. I forgot my move here, didn't I? So the SO found some clickies in the bank. Had a. Oh, what was it? The general spell power boost clicky, the fire spell power boost clicky, and. I don't know what the other one was. Something similar. Just had those clicky sit in the bank. They don't drop anymore. Not name, just random loot gen stuff. And I think I ended up trashing them. Didn't know what to put them up on the auction house for, and uh, one of them was bound to account. Usually plays Druid and Barbarian, and really doesn't like to switch gear and use clickies, so. Ended up with. Uh, those in the bank, but not really useful. I was trying to say, put them up in the auction house, at least you know, generate some interest, see if we can find somebody that will grab them, but maybe even for shards.
Oh, those are craftable? I didn't realize they were craftable. And that makes a lot more sense why there wouldn't be anything up auction wise. Other than that they're rare. So, yeah, craftable when you can get exactly what you want at the level you want it and all that. Then. Yeah, I see people using those a lot and I just never. It's one of those things I don't do. Is that 15 spell power really going to be that useful? Or I think one of them was for three spell, three universal spell power. Granted, it was at level four, but still three spell power. Is that really going to be that big of a deal? Especially at level four. Obviously, if I was going to do it, I'd rather have a. Most of the time, I'd rather have a clicky than a potion. But potions are also easier to deal with than general about changing weapons and all that. So there's upsides to each. I really only have the one caster and all that. Yeah, just... I can see if if you're sure that you're that close to be having enough spell power to do something, like one-shot somebody or something, then sure. That makes sense, I can see using it, but most of the time, I have no idea. how close I am to doing something, especially on my caster, my short serve. Sometimes I'm hitting for hardly anything, sometimes I get a decent hit of a couple thousand. I think I was looking for one more item for my sorcerer, and then unlock Cocoon at least, um, before I a ITR or Hero TR into an iconic, I should say. Alright, there's that done. And I keep saying I'm going to take a break, and then I not do it. I'm not quite that hungry yet. Oh! Do a tight turns, I think, and then I'll take a break. I just, especially on a character like my sorcerer that doesn't have much inventory space to begin with. So I know I'm not going to be using that stuff, except maybe in certain situations. So. I'm not going to keep it on me for a just in case or once in a while kind of thing. Oh, that's a nice group for stuff. Uh, I kind of want to join that group, but I kind of just want to run tide turns and then take a break. So I think we're going to run tide turns and take a break. So in about 15 minutes, I'll be taking about a 15 minute break. Let's put it that way. We still have the problem in our static group where the SO isn't VIP and we're at level 17, so we're doing level 15s on Elite. And the only thing we haven't done yet is Wayloon. And Lords of Dust is level 16. So there's no way at the moment for the SO to get over to there to join us in Wayloon that we know of until either we run Lords of Dust under level, so we're 17s running an 18 level 18 quest, or we run it over level and we take um, 
we take 18 and then run Lords of Destiny go back for Wayland once we've run it. Or the SO misses out on those, which I don't like. Or um, the Hall of Heroes goes on sale next week and we uh, do it that way. So, in any case, it's a real bummer that the quest to access the area isn't available until the next level. I have... Has anybody ever explained the reason why they did that? I keep meaning to ask that question on Wednesdays, but I forget. But that would be a good interview question sometime when they're on a podcast or something. Why is it that Lords of Dust is higher level than Waylon? It doesn't make any sense. When you're running a static group like we are, where you're doing everything at level, and all of a sudden there's something you can't do. Because you're not premium. Or VIP, I mean. Because you are premium and not VIP. Almost missed it. And go. And my rogue's jump was just short of being able to do that, I think, on Tuesday. It was annoying. Get in the habit to run these a certain way because I run them on this character. You get to a different character and you don't quite have the same stats or skills or whatever to do it in the same way. Um, get down. Thank you. I also found out that if you're swinging your weapon, then you don't tend to get caught as much on the uh, overhead pipes. You can still do it, it's just not as easy. Oh, yep, just did it again. I guess if you're swinging, it's just timed right. You'll still hit it. Can I trip a rat? No. Oh, we had the rats outside because the SO was cleaning their cage last night, and oh man. Our one rat just continually goes everywhere and jumps. Oh, I didn't tell. <laughs> I didn't think I told this story. I was sitting here. What was I doing? I was. I think I was applying to jobs, I think, is what I was doing. And all of a sudden I feel a nose on my leg, like up under my pant line. That's odd. The other cats are downstairs. The one cat who's out usually doesn't do that. If he does anything, he'll come up and be on the chair next to me. He doesn't stick his nose into my pant leg. What is going on? I look down, I don't see a cat. Okay. So I look down again, and it's one of our rats. He uh, got out of the cage. <laughs> He's wandering around like, what the heck are you doing out, dude? You should not be out here. And it turns out, the way the ca this cage we have is, is that there's a bottom tray that has two little um, metal pieces that flap around, and uh, you're supposed to leave them down, and that prevents the tray from going too far. Well, one of them had somehow got up. We don't know if it's from the dog or one of the cats messing around on that side or what. But uh, it was up and the rat was able to push the entire bottom tray out far enough that there was a gap and he just climbed right down that way. It was, uh, yeah, it was funny. But that's the kind of rat he is. He's always trying to get somewhere he's not supposed to be, and jumping and climbing. And there's a reason we call him Monkey. We'll put it that way. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 guys. You are some of the most useless guys. Oh, you know, I forgot to switch my ring back. Just in time for traps. What am I looking at for XP here? Eh, 20. Not great, not horrible. And earlier, the dragon was all active. He was doing his, ah, oh, let me out of here, I'm tired of being in here thing. In the corner of the cage. It looks like he's on his rock now, I can't quite tell. Still have that overly bright thing going on. Because of the... His light. The cage we got for him came with a styrofoam that looked like a fake rock wall. We were going to mount it on the wall behind the cage. That would have helped a little bit with the reflection back there, but we didn't end up doing it. Threw it away instead. One of those things where you have an idea, but after several weeks of it not implementing it, yeah, just not do it. Get rid of it. Piece, piece of styrofoam was sitting there for too long. And yeah, I need to get up and walk around a bit after this, so... I might take a little bit longer lunch, maybe 20 minutes or so. But I will be back. And I'll keep the stream up with my break sign on when I start doing that. So you'll be easy to tell. this pop point by getting all the loots in the boxes on each side, the collectible. And just in time for you to pop up. For all his talk, this dude is really weak. What kind of crappy pirate rests in the middle of a battle? Seriously. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm bored of fighting you. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And maybe one with more charisma could pull it off, but I don't think he is the one to pull it off. Anybody know what the new uh, monster manuals are going to be? What's going to be the new monster manuals? I hadn't heard that. I heard the new monster manuals were coming, but I didn't hear what was going to be actually be in them. Filthy Kukri. Yay. Alright, I'm going to get back to the airship. Get in the airship so we don't have the... Uh, air noise in the background, because as we all know, air noise is copyrighted. 
at least in giant hold it is. I presume it's copyrighted everywhere. So I'd much rather idle somewhere where I know I won't get flagged on YouTube. I'll forget otherwise I'll repair I'll put up the promos here real quick and then put the break sign on we'll be good to go so DDO streams schedule is here next one on the schedule is Sunday at 5 Titan and then Dag who is in AFK but in chat at the moment um, or Blue Queen one of the two of them does uh, Mini Monday from Wayfinder. Monday's at 4. DDO Polish, Tuesday's at 3. And then a half hour later, they go from 3, th 3 to 4.30. They've got the time straight this week, so it'll be good. Um, I'll be on at 5. I usually go somewhere between, oh, between 8 and 9, usually, is when I stop. Sometimes as late as 10 or 11. Depends on what's going on, how I feel, all that stuff. And then Damsels, I'm not sure if this is on week or not. And then with Wednesday lunchtime live stream and the fling, which is winding down. Thursdays, we've got the two other new folks on. We've got Sirens and New Game Plus. And then Friday is Titan on Thelonis again. And then pretty much everybody on here, as well as others, um, are streaming DDO throughout the week on uh, various date times on my own personal channels. Speaking of personal channels, you are watching on my personal channel at the moment, Twitch TV slash Simorgu, or if you're watching this on Archive, you may be watching on YouTube, user Simorgu. You can find me on Twitter. I usually announce when I have new videos and when I start streaming on Twitter as well. You can always hit the follow button on Twitch, uh, subscribe button on YouTube, and be notified, of course, when new things happen, and then my, my site and my Steam ID. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break, let's say in the 20 to 30 minute range. I'll be back. So um, stick around if you'd like. Uh, otherwise, you know, I know you can find somebody else to watch for a half hour, so that's cool too. But I will be back shortly. Thanks for watching. See you soon.
Alrighty, hello again. I put the uh, dragon cam up nearly full screen for a little bit, and uh, I was watching that while I was eating. And he had a uh, issue with his hammock, so I just finished. I hope fixing that so he can get up there. Looks like he got spooked a little bit. He's now over on the other side near his food dish and all that. Dog, now is not the time to ask for a walk. I just got back to streaming. Come on. Your sense of timing is horrible. So, alright. He is taken care of for the moment. There's a Tharask Arena that's... Fleshmakers... Of the two... Nah. What do I feel like doing? What do I feel like doing? I actually feel like doing Spies. And Wiz King. So we'll do that. I'm still going to mute here from time to time as I finish my uh, carrots and then my gluten-free yogurt-covered pretzels, but other than that, I should be audible. All right, let's actually just step in first and see how fast this goes. Thanks, Dag. Yeah. I don't care what level, as long as you're there. I don't care there. Right. Spies, Ian times two. Was king. Ian times two. In progress. Alright. Got a party set up. Or LFM setup, I should say. Oh, you're going to have to wait, dude. It's a poor time to decide you suddenly need to go. Should have done it while I was eating lunch. Lay down. Leave it. Lay your butt down. Good boy. All right. Crisis is word for now. If he's laying here so relaxed, that means he doesn't have to go out immediately. Leave it to the dog to wait until I'm done with lunch and then I decide he needs to go out. Oh, I missed. Let's pretend a little bit I missed of that. With this character. What? Hey, Mari, how's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Let's see, let's put that on. A little bit of that. Yep, yep. Yeah. 
don't really have a big combat coming up, so it makes sense to go ahead and use that boost here. I like to minimize gear switching so I don't have a separate weapon for skeletons and such. At some point I do need something, but it comes out so rarely that I need this, something like that. I generally do enough damage to fake it. Sounds like a good uh, evening. <laughs> Party animal. Sounds like a very good evening. Should be fun. Hope it goes well and you have fun. Pretty sure we have nothing going on tonight. But that may change depending on what happens with the SO gets home and what they feel like, so never know. Sometimes they're gonna do something usually especially recently the uh, work day hasn't been going so well on Saturdays for them, so They've not been like doing much except uh, lying about watching Netflix and all that, which is fine. Might do that, may not. We'll see. This is odd. Usually by now, I've got at least one person in my spies group. They don't usually... I think there was a group that was running fairly recently though, so people may have already done their spies for the day, and that could be the reason. I suppose lots of people are um, doing holiday parties and such as well, so that could be another reason. That call I had earlier was from my mom who reminded me that we have never really done anything as a family on Easter, on around Easter. There was, you know, the usual Oh yeah, here's a basket with some candy in it kind of thing, and here's some eggs, but not nothing really a big deal. So yeah, we're not planning on anything in particular, except that if we can get the dog day into daycare tomorrow, we'll probably see if we can... Uh, go shopping or something, but that's pretty much the extent of our plans, and it may not be possible to get the dog in this late because we didn't realize it was not only spring break, but Easter. So, if we can, we will. If not, you know, I've got some stuff to grill out. We'll probably just grill out, relax, enjoy the day. Maybe get some housework done. Speaking of the dog, why are you itchy? No, we're not going out yet. We're not going out yet, dog. Not happening. Good boy. Just lay there. That's fine for a while. I was hoping maybe the day today would be good enough to open the windows, that would be nice. Maybe tomorrow will be as well. Enjoy the fresh breeze and not a horrible wind. It's been kind of rainy and chilly here, off and on. So that, although the temperature has gotten up to where it's window time, 
I haven't really been able to keep the windows open, which is annoying. I do prefer having the windows open inside. Another thing about possibly building a desktop computer is that I would able, be able to go upstairs and use my standing desk in the office instead of having to sit the whole time, which would be a good, nice change of pace for streaming, I think. Have the option to either sit down or stand up as I feel the need. Just sitting here for four to ten hours in a row is not great sometimes. I want to get up and move and at least shift a little more than I do normally. That's what I like about having a standing desk because you can walk around, burn some energy, don't get as restless, I don't feel. Well, if I could jump today. Oh, hey, look. Finally. Fighter, huh? It's nice to have somebody in my party finally. That's a good boy dog, just sit there. Doo -doo -doo. Somewhere I'm not finding terminals. As long as you hit those air jets, and they'll propel you down faster. Oh, get over here. Yeah, jerk. That's what I'm waiting for. Obviously, prefer somebody to have uh, rogue skills so they can get us the trap bonus. But it's not a big deal if we don't get it. At this point, I'm not that particular. Staring at cat. Hmm? What are you staring at cat? That means they're all going to be all statted up. So in that case, if I can trigger it... Ah, oh, dancing figures. Even with that bull save on this. Still got the dancing going on. And Dog with his... A rubber ball that he's tearing apart. firing. Oh, I missed breakables beforehand, so I don't get it. 
Oh well. Well, let's signal the end then. Hi, cat. I have not much left for you to sleep on, so you might want to back off. There you go. Get back inside, up at the LFM. Oh. He didn't want to do it again. Alrighty. That's fine. Let's see, man. But at least we got somebody in for a little bit. Usually I can get enough people in up front there that... By the time we go to WizKing, we've got a full party so everybody can take different towers or two people to a tower. And it goes really smoothly. But if I'm not going to be able to get anybody in today, then I'm not going to do WizKing. I'll just skip it. Because I don't feel like soloing three towers by myself two times in a row. You know what I mean? That just kind of takes Sorcerer, Favorite Soul, Epic, all right. I'll get to where I can take a minute to say hi and do so. There we go. Oh, I just heard that, which means I need to remember to do this. And I probably should also go ahead and do the jump as well. Ready for clickies. Oops. I forgot to actually go turn the valve. That would help. Oh my god. Dog, can you chew your bones somewhere where it doesn't resonate through the entire couch? Please. You're in the whole freaking couch movement here, buddy. a sorcerer build with two favorite soul. That is one of the options I was looking at for my sorcerer. I'm not sure what I want to do with that yet. I was looking at paladin. So either two favorite soul, two paladin, 16 sorcerer. Oh. Mm. Or two or three paladin and the rest sorcerer. But here's a two favorite soul and the rest sorcerer. I'm going to have to look at that more depth and see what I want to do. Or just end up trying one of them out. I'll probably do at least two Paladin, though. Because of Blade Forged. Dog, what do you want? Huh? No. Lay down. Oh, did I really just do that? 
Sea dog, you distracted me. Now I don't know where that guy am. I'm around the back side, aren't I? Yeah, there's the. Oh, seriously? Well, dog, at this rate, we may be going sooner than later on your walk. We actually go. Outside on a walk here after this. I'll rely on them to throw a fireball back there. Break the breakables. For the extra percentage. Come on. There we go. Didn't kill this skeleton. Gotta get the skeletons. That was a short haste. Wow. I've always found that jarring, the two different voices in here. You hear a fell for the new hero. Just weird. To suddenly have a much deeper, louder voice. Her way out of the sewer, 
pausing once to look back and wave her thanks. We have three, which is enough to go ahead and do Whiz King. Hard 16 for fighter, so not. Ah, uh, love this jump. Love this jump. Best jump in the entire game. There we go. If you get hit by lightning, then you know you made it. Anyway, lightning indicates success. That's the best case scenario right there. Oh, except that... What is it doing? There we go. You come close and then they get hit by the jets and they come right in your face. Then you can smack them down. When it works, it's nice. Trapped underneath the stupid things. Alright, let's take some of this trash out then. Should make it a little easier to work, deal with. Oh, you jerk. Come on. And you, you jerk.
and all of a sudden the group is full. I guess people are wanting Whiz King, not spies today. Need two runs of Whiz King Puppy and then we'll go outside, okay? I see you. I know you gotta go. I know. I know, buddy. Yes, I know. I do. Be patient. Go lay down. We'll go in a little bit, okay? You wait. What am I doing here? I need to go up to the airship. Ugh. Ah. as long as we have everything covered. We've got the two people per tower, that's all we need. People do the leapfrog thing and keep it moving quickly and then somebody goes out and grabs the window and all that, then we'll be fine. Just lay down, dog. I'll get you in a little bit, okay? A couple more minutes. I know, buddy. I know. I do know. Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. I know, but hold on. I got a mouse here, too, you know. I need both hands. I can't just do one. Yeah, I can't just do one hand, dog. I gotta direct with the mouse and hit forward with my left hand, you know? Be patient, buddy. Go lay down. We'll go out in a little bit, okay? Go lay down. I know you're bored. You don't like sitting and watching me play. Oh, I've got 30% striding, and it's still not enough to keep with, up with everybody. Oh, now we get a rogue. Awesome. This is another one where as long as we everything is covered by at least one person, I don't care where everybody goes. And he knows how to leave frog, maybe. Yeah, maybe.
This is the part where it gets fun. Yep, it's the crappy one. Sometimes I get lucky and I can just walk right across, and other times I don't get lucky and I have to do this. And he's just waiting. I find it much better to, if the first person drops, then to go ahead and do it yourself. Hey, Helena. Yep. Looking forward to it. I know I am. Lots of people are looking forward to it. Uh, I need to get out of this wall of fire. I really do. Really do. There we go. Oh, he's just being a jerk right now. He didn't move on, didn't he? I think so. Yep. New content is always fun. I'm excited about the rogue changes. Yep. <laughs> Taking a vacation day, huh? Yeah, unfortunately the game will be down from 8 to noon my time, so that early half of the day isn't going to do me much good. Well, come here, dog. If you want to be paid attention to, you got to come here so I can pay attention to you. You can't walk away. Dog, 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 dog. I see you, and I'll get to you in a minute, okay? Let me finish this quest twice, and we'll, we'll get to your... We'll get to your business, okay? A genie blocks your path. Okay, go ahead and ask. Um, I'll get to it. I'll get to answering it when I can, but go ahead and ask. Oh, we almost had him. Almost had him. Is that Jokasra? Hey, Jokasra. Yes, yes, you can knock me down. Great. That's awesome. You rock. You go. Yeah. I had no idea that you could actually see the sneak attack dice in the feats. I had asked a bunch of people and no one knew that. And then, who was it? Varguil, I think, answered it. That was nice. No, it's just half as nothing big. I'm glad it's half as that way I have some time to do stuff. That's cool. Iconic rogue staff user. Interesting. Hit live stream for Twitch, but don't know if it is live. I'll tell it shows my Twitch TV name and dash. I'll do something else. Not sure what exactly you're asking, Joe Kazra. I'm not understanding your question. Yep. Handy thing to know. So you hit live stream for Twitch, but don't know if it is live. And up at top, it shows my Twitch TV name and dashboard. I, I don't understand, Joe Cosro, what you're asking. You're saying you're trying to stream? Or you're trying to watch something? 
I, I don't understand. Okay, you're trying to stream, and do you ha what what are you using as a stream? Do you have OBS or um, what's my jigger? XSplit or Shadowplay? You're using OBS. So you have OBS and okay, get out of here. Hold on, so I'm trying to concentrate on getting the group this going here. All right, good. Houses the tomb of the wizard king. One, two, three, four, five. Someone is still in. Infernia. Fug the Sandstead Altazar. So you're in OBS, you put your stream key in OBS. And you go to Twitch to see your channel? I, I don't understand the well to get to your channel. It stops at Stream Morgan My Show's OBS. Don't understand what you're trying to say there. Uh, I see you're also on Bunny's channel. Yeah, I'll be able to concentrate more after I finish this quest and walk the dog. But, you know, if I can understand what you're, what you're, I don't know what the problem is. I don't understand what you're saying the problem is. So Luigi is confirmed Piker. Okay. That might work. Welcome back, Helena. Hey, 
one, two, three, four, five. Stan sits back, Furious back. I want to say there was somebody else that isn't back here yet. Let's see. Fugly. Yeah, it's fugly. Isn't back. Let me see if Fugly's coming back. Just a moment. This impressive structure houses the tomb of the Ah, oh, fuck. Fudge sickles. I forgot to retake that. There's Fugly. I am sorry to El Elgion who couldn't get in because the party's full, but I want to make sure Fugly got back. You would think somewhere there I would remember to do uh, remove curse. Mummy rock, but I didn't. But that is a good question. Is it chains? The rooms from Chains of Flame. That's the only thing I can think of out here. Off the top of my head, Helena, Helena. What? Yes, dog, I see you. Again, still be patient. Yes, be patient. We're gonna run this one more time real quick, then we'll walk, okay? Be patient. A little bit longer, dog. You're being really good. Yeah, you're being really good. Harley. Harley. Come on. Just a minute. Yes, just a minute. I know. Your eyeballs are floating, I can tell. You really want to go. I understand. I get away myself sometimes. Just hold it in, dog. Just a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Come lay down. Dog, come lay down. Seriously, just a few more minutes and we'll be fine. You can hold on a few more minutes. Yes, you can. You can be a good boy. Hold on a few more minutes, okay? Oh, I just missed that. Did you see that? I just missed it, dog. I just missed it. Yes. Hi. Hi, dog. I told you I got to use both hands. I can't. Here. Let me put auto run on. Maybe that'll help. Will that help? Can I auto run? Still pet you. Is that open yet? No, it's not open and he's still standing there. Just a minute, dog. Just a minute. Feel my... Boy, he's trying everything he can to slow me down, isn't he? Oh, you jerk. You absolute jerk. Those magic missiles are what does it. They break me out of... They hurt, too. Those are not weak magic missiles that he has. There. That's better. You, sir, are a jerk that needs to die. Sit down and die. There we go. Now the rest of this shouldn't be so bad.
Hold on, just a couple more minutes. I'm almost there. <laughs> In for the long ride, huh? Yeah. He looks like he has a uh, urgent need to go to the bathroom, don't you? Hold on, just a couple more minutes, dog. Okay? Come on, Billy. You can hold on for me, can't you? Yes, you can. You can be a good boy and hold on just a little bit longer. Yeah, when the SO's playing, the dog sometimes gets in the way. He has to be, like, right on top of him. And sometimes that means stepping on the keyboard and such like. Oh, nice. It's always nice when you can kill him before he can transform. I enjoy that. Yeah, chew on something. That's a good idea. Oh, we got the... We lost the lottery. Got Ryan. Yes, we did. We lost the lottery. Got Ryan, puppy. Yeah, we did. It's going to take us a minute to kill Ryan. I know, puppy. I know. I know, puppy. I know, puppy dog. Yes, I know. I know you got to go. We just got for everybody else to kill their mini bosses, okay? Everybody else got to kill their mini bosses. Yeah, that's what has to happen first, dog. Yes, it is. They have to kill theirs. Oh. So I'm staying, which means I need to get rid of my factory so I can pick the other one up. There you go. Chew a bone. Awesome idea, dog. My comms have been building up. I didn't think I got that many comms. There it is. Hafez is gone. Ryan's gone. We just need the other dude. In the treasure chamber. And here we go. Hami, Hami, whatever it is. That's what the other guy's name is, I forgot. Enter the treasure chamber, guys. Come on. Enter the treasure chamber. Enter the treasure chamber. Enter the treasure chamber. Alright, fine. We'll just do it that way. See, we would have got like twice as many XP if you guys would have entered the treasure chamber first, but that's okay. Alright. Just one more minute. Dog. And we'll go. Yes, I'm done with it. I'm done with my second run of it. Just one more minute. We'll go walk, okay? Let me recall back to town. Let me recall back to town. So, as you know, I'll be taking a short break here again to walk the dog. Shouldn't be more than 5-10 minutes at the most. 
he is in need, urgent need of going outside, and I don't want him to make a mess on the floor somewhere, so... I think it's better all, for all concerned if we just go take a walk. Right, dog? Right, dog? Yes? You want to go outside? I take a walk? Go to the bathroom? Yeah, okay. Yep, let's do it. Let's go. Alright, so I'll be back in ten minutes or so. Um, yeah.
and I am back. Nice short walk with the dog. He ensured a tree was completely watered. And uh, I don't see Joe Cosser back, so... Not sure what's up with that. Got streaming to work or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, turning in the quest. We just walked, dog. I don't know why you're staring at the window now. You were just out there. It's a little chilly out there still. It looks nice and warm, sun's out, but it's a little chilly. It's a cool breeze going. Didn't check the weather, I don't know what temperature is, but... Ah, there you go, Kasra. That reminds me, I do need to get those videos done that I keep mentioning that I plan on doing is how to stream DDO and how to set up some stuff. I want to do that. Just keep having other stuff going on and then when I'm doing DDO stuff, I want to be just relaxing and playing DDO and not necessarily doing the other stuff, but I'll find some time here. Hopefully this week, I'll see if I can find some time to do that. I do want to get that done. Uh, da, 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 da. Anything in here worth keeping? I have blindness removal already. That great. All right. So you still having problems, Jagazra? Now what, dog? E. -E Bravery bonus Vaughn one through four. Vaughn one through four E. -E. That sounds decent. I could sort of get behind that. You think about that? No. Nah. Hmm. Fawn one, two, three is fine, four is fine, but one and two are kind of. Eh. Let's see if they're. Are they filling up or not? They're not filling up at all. So instead, I think I'll do solo one three. That should be within my power. Let's see. Leave it. We just went outside, dog. You should be fine for a while. Go find one of your toys. Or just relax for change. Don't worry about it. Oh, dog. You're so funny. Funny, funny dog. Whatever you do, just stop staring at me. Alright? I don't care what you do, just stop staring at me. Because that's a requirement. He's telling me stream key or still logged in. So you're talking about in OBS? It's telling you stream key? Did you get your stream key from Twitch and put it in OBS in the stream key block box? I'll take a second once I'm in the other part of this quest to go through the menus on OBS and make sure of where everything is exactly. Yeah, level 
on 22, this should be fine. All right, let's go to OBS settings. Uh, let's see, okay, so OBS is giving you the error. Okay, well, that's the first thing. So settings, settings, general, doesn't matter what your profile name is. Under encoding, blah, blah, blah. Under broadcast settings, your mode is live stream. Your streaming server is Twitch. Your FMS URL, you picked one of the ones that's closest to you. Your play path stream key, you copy and paste directly from Twitch. And I don't think you need to do anything else there just to get started. Dog, get down. Go lay down. We just went outside. Uh, let's see. Base resolution, whatever. Aspect ratio, whatever. Yeah, all of that. None of that should matter, though. Your stream key is really what controls everything. Because the screen, stream key tells which channel to stream to and gives you the authentication to do so. Yeah, I would make sure that the entire stream key got copied. That seems to be the only thing in there that I can see off the top of my head that would be an issue. The stream key is on what you got oh, from your dashboard, I think. I haven't messed with my stream key in a while. Uh, let's see. On Twitch, it is dashboard and then stream key, yeah. And then show key. That should do it from there. It shows you're live. It's blank and black, but it shows you're live, Jokasra. So it looks like you are streaming, you're just streaming nothing yet. Um... Let me see if I still have those photos up somewhere. Um, let's see. Weird. Heartbeat API error. Huh. That's weird because it definitely shows your live streaming and it's just black. Maybe there's some other setting that's not set right. Um, and... The only thing I can think of off the top of my head for that is looking at Twitch help for stuff. Uh, let's see, where is that? Help. Just make sure you f double check your settings off of that.
And then... Uh, let's see, OBS, Twitch. This link here suggests that you might try a different server. And let's see. Uh, it looks like all the servers are up according to Twitch status, so that shouldn't be it. I would say the main thing is to look at that Twitch page for the OBS settings and make sure you're using those settings or close to them. Um, that's the only thing that looks like it to me off the top of my head looking at all that you may try a different server for twitch and see if that helps reconfirm your broadcast key and make sure it's correct and then uh, yeah I don't know why OBS would give you that error except look on the OBS help site and see if it has anything about that specific error Besides that one thing I sent. Because um, really, if your stream keys are correct, then everything should just work. And then you have to make sure you, you know, you're actually broadcasting something and not just blank screen. But I don't know if that's because you're having that OBS error or because something else isn't set up right. I'm not sure. Yeah, that was just a quick Google search brought me back to those pages, so if you look deeper you might find something else, particularly on OBS's site or Twitch's site, I would say. You might have some better luck looking for that error again. There might be other threads that uh, have more detail or other suggestions. And there is that Oh, I don't remember there's a site to test your bandwidth and stuff. And it comes back with some recommended settings. I don't remember off the top of my head what those are. But we can look at that too. Once you have the stuff set up, it mostly just works. It's just sometimes that getting it set up can be a pain. Oh, one of my neighbors is mowing the lawn or something. It stares coldly at you, perhaps calculating the threat you pose to its mission. Now, there's a speed test, and there's one that has recommended OBS settings based on your speed test or something. I don't remember. I just said it's been a while since I've actually done that stuff. Mm. Hey, bad for you. How's it going? Excuse me a second. Give me a little horse here. Mm -mm, that's a little better. Sorry. Hey, bad for you. How you doing today? Hope everything's going well. Nice to see you again. Oh. Good, glad to hear it. I see Bonnie stopped streaming. She was streaming there for a little bit, like I was.
Obviously I was streaming so I really couldn't pay attention to her channel very much, but I did see that she started and then stopped, so I don't know the reasons behind that. I think she said her thing said she was farming something or other. Maybe she got what she needed from farming. And Joe Kazer here is trying to set OBS up to stream and is having problems. Which again reminds me I need to set up those tutorial videos that I've been meaning to set up for a while. Introduce some people on how to get things set up and running. Because I like seeing more people streaming DDO at all hours of the day and night, different days of the week and such. It's fun. As many people as I'm following, and not just DDO, but other streamers too, speedrunners and such. There are still times of the week, just certain days and times, where nobody is streaming. And I'm like, uh, come on guys, somebody's got to be streaming now. Nope, nobody. Sometimes it's weird, like when I wake up in the middle of the night or early in the morning, but sometimes it's just, you know, mid-morning U.S. time. And on different days, nobody's on. Less of your claws when you do that, though. I don't like you clawing the heck out of my couch like that. I sit in this couch. I want you clawing it all up. So, yeah, just grinding out another life on Shaw here. Now it's later in the day, I might try to switch over to one of my other characters and see what's going on. But. Just kind of in the solo thing most of the day. I did party up there briefly. I find it easier to, well, it's worthwhile if you can get a rogue and spies, of course, but it's easier to get through Whisking quickly if you can party up a bit. So I like doing that. Otherwise, a lot of times soloing is faster than the other stuff. For me, anyway. Oh, I got feared. There are sometimes when taking two pals on any character sounds like a good idea. Or is it three? Whichever gives you the fear immunity. Two or three. Did somebody just come down the freaking ladder after me? That's weird. I didn't think they'd do that. Why can I use the camera? Oh, did I already get it? Yep, he came down the wow. Yeah. He's set on the... Yeah. Take me out, huh? I didn't realize those guys would come down the ladder after you. A lot of times, the mobs don't use ladders. Maybe they just fell down and it looks like they were using ladder because they were landing by the ladder. Hold on. What's the ribbon? Oh. This is a... Uh... See, I don't remember it's there. The bombings that occurred in Boston a couple years back. Um, evidently, they sell they sold this ribbon for a limited time in the DDO store as a memorial of that, since it was really close to them and they knew people and stuff. So they sold this uh, memorial ribbon here, and I don't think I was playing at the time, and so. It was very limited, and I didn't get one. 
But someone happened to put it up in the auction house. So I spent two million plat on it. And I uh, got one. So that's why I have it now and I didn't before. I keep it on this character. I've had it for, I'd say, a couple months now. But it's just a nice little thing. I don't normally go in for cosmetic stuff, but I just like the idea of this one. I had seen that Queen and a couple other people had them. And uh, thought they were nice. So. Just happened that I had all the platinum I needed to get it, and it was up the. It was like a half hour left, too, on the auction house. I just happened to pop in and see it. I'm like, yeah, I gotta get that. Can't pass that up. Such a limited item, and it was for um, turbine points originally and all that stuff, so. To be platinum and all that. I thought it was worth getting. Come on, Beholder. Stop dancing around. You know you're going to die anyway. Why do I have a notification that I have something in my Steam inventory? Man, I am not finding any of these things at the moment. There's one. It's not showing up in my... Oh, there's another Beholder too. Awesome. Is that the... Yep, that's the named. Come here, you. I don't mind. I'm getting extra 7k for that. Named Beholder. Alright, now. Okay, there's one. Where is it? It's down there. The other one is up there. So if I could just miss it to reclimb for the other one. This is one of the sections in, uh, I think is really well done, that it, they're all in random spots. There's, there's enough of them that makes it interesting. They're not in just three or four spots. There's a dozen or more spots they could be in. and They just sort of randomly appear. Makes that section interesting. It creates a good bottleneck for people to catch up to. If you're falling behind your party members, then you know it's going to take them usually a couple minutes to get through that section, so you can have a chance to catch up. Yep, yep, yep. I can switch to my other ring now. You guys can attack me if you want, but I'm going to get my treasure. You jerks, don't stop me from getting my treasure. Well, at this rate, it's going to be mid to late year, I would imagine. Um, I would guess later in the year. I'm hoping for later in the year. I would love to get my uh, epic completions done first. Save myself two levels. Each life. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Good thing about the Beholders, he has very few hit points. On the one hand, I'm looking forward to it. On the other hand, I'm not. I kind of like things the way they are now, and I want to get more lives done um, and all that 
but I'm going to worry about two extra levels. But on the other hand, I do have you know level 27 gear that I use for one level at a time, and then I epic reincarnate and don't use it again. So I get a couple more levels of use out of that gear. I'd probably finally make a 28 Thunder Forge too. So yeah, there's good and bad to it being sooner or later. Dags and I were chatting about that earlier. And if Epic Green Steel's gonna be level 30 stuff, then you're gonna have more reason to stay at level and farm the Green Steel ingredients and get that stuff put together. So that's good. More reason to stay at cap is good. Yeah, I haven't here at TR'd yet. I'm still just doing the Epic Reincarnations, so I'm staying 20 to 28, and I'm enjoying that. So who knows what will happen. And you can look at it that Heroic's always going to be there. But now's your chance to get the epic um, stuff done when it's still easier to do. As far as less levels, anyway. But, you know. Different ways to look at it. I'm going to keep at least one character up in epics. And if I tear any, I might probably just do it that way. So I keep one up there and then tear the other one or two, or whatever. But, yeah, you know, I don't know. Wow, they're still waiting for people for that Therask Arena. Therask. Actually, you know, I should go over and do that one anyway. Get my daily playthrough bonus of that. Maybe I'll do Vaughn 3 again to finish out this level. How many eggs? Yeah, only 13. Okay. It's not going to be enough to level. So I'll go ahead and do some optionals. Get a little more XP at least. I'm looking forward to the Epic Veil, Epic Green Steel stuff. I'm not looking forward to Epic Shavarath necessarily. I'm looking forward to Temple of Elemental Evil. I'm looking forward to the Rogue Enhancement Pass, but and the new UI improvements they have, and stuff like that. But I still haven't run the latest Delirium or Madness or whatever they are. Whatever the latest pack was that I haven't run. Because I wasn't VIP and I didn't have it. Now I'm VIP because of the three months free deal. Oh, you know what? I had this uh, wrong goggles on the entire time there. Ever since I did Don't Treat the Water. I believe. I the wrong goggles on. Oh, well, nothing blinded me in the meantime, so that's fine. Late to the party, are you? So, yeah. I get into a groove where I'm comfortable playing the way I'm playing, and I don't really want to change it. I think a lot of people do that. That's why you see so much negativity on the forums when they talk about changes, but, you know, it's an MMO, it's going to do that. It's going to change and grow and adjust. That's 
part of the uniqueness of it. So there's a lot of content I haven't, I don't run often. There's some content I haven't seen even once yet. It's kind of sad that some things just aren't run. I was in a horrible, horrible hand of Zoriat. Uh, was it last Monday or Sunday, something like that? It was horrible. It went all wrong. Pretty much everything that could go wrong could go wrong. And now I know why people don't poke Hound of Zoriat. Just getting to the quest was a big, big deal. I don't think we ever got everybody there. Somebody disconnected for 20 minutes, somebody died, and then for some reason we said, somebody said recall and I'll guide you from the start, and they didn't release. And blah. Oh, you lost your VIP, you have to go get a card, yeah. Unfortunately, you gotta do that kind of stuff. Keep it going. Well, I'm set for the next, what, year still, I think? It was about two or three months ago that I don't remember even when the VIP special was on. No, it's only end of February, early March, I think, so I've got quite a while, like 14 months left, 13 or 14 months left on my VAP now. So I did it because it was, ended up being a good deal. And I have been playing enough recently that I see my, foresee myself playing for quite a while still, fairly regularly, that I think it'll be a deal. A good idea. The reason I wasn't before is because I have a tendency to play a game for a while and then get burnt out on it and go play something else. And that's what happened. I had a couple breaks in there where I didn't play. But then I ended up buying pretty much all the content and a bunch of the stuff you get for VIP and all that. Since I've been streaming I've been and I've been a static group, I've been playing every week, except when I'm on vacation and can't play. Um, I've been playing every week, so even if I don't play outside of those two things, I've been playing every week. So it seems worth it to have VIP, especially when things exciting things like Temple of Elemental Evil and Epic Veil and all that are coming. It makes sense to support that. Oh, that worked well. Ooh, 20 miles and back. You live a little ways out there, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I tend to live in town, in the suburbs somewhere. I don't like living outside of town. When I was younger, we lived quite a ways outside of town. It was... Well, to the edge of town wasn't too bad, but if we wanted to go to, like, the mall or something, it was further into town. And I like being on the edge a lot better. I don't like being right in town unless I'm, like, there's a couple cities like uh, Tokyo, where if I was in Tokyo, then, okay, yeah, living in town makes a lot more sense. But around here, mostly, I don't think I would do that. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. I went to school with some people who lived out further because they were farming. That's what their family did. And so, yeah. Understand that you have no choice but to live where your farm is, pretty much. But for what I do, and hopefully what I'll be get another job for here shortly, um, yeah. Actually, it doesn't matter where I live, which is what I hope to do another telecommuting job. But I like being, like I live, technically what? You go up to the end of the street and it's one, two, two blocks from a big store. There's a gas station and stuff up there too. 
So that's the kind of place I like to where I can walk over and get whatever I need if I want to or ride my bike or something. Not that I do that very often, but it's just nice to be that close where if I need to run and get something, I don't have to go far. Convenience factor of it. I used to live right behind my the grocery store I used and my favorite Chinese restaurant, so it was really convenient. I had a lot of Chinese food because it was just walk up the hill and there I am. Good Chinese food right there. Enjoyed it a lot. So it's kind of dangerous in that regard, but... The problem is there wasn't any other restaurants there, really, so that was my only choice. <laughs> it would be nice if there had been a couple more choices there than that, but it was good. I enjoyed being close to stuff. One of the jobs I applied for is a couple blocks away, and again, if I have to go into an office, I'd rather it be right there. I usually try to live pretty close to where I work. Or telecommute, one of the two. It works out better for me personally. But you live right in the back of the dabble of your work. Or on the edge, I would say. That's got to be handy sometimes, except that farming could be exhausting work. I lived um, my backyard, butted on a cornfield when I was younger. And that was interesting. I got quite used to all the tractors and stuff at all times of the morning and the seasonal detasseling and stuff like that, jobs that were available. But that was never something that I actually did. Uh, yeah, that's right, it's this one. Yeah, I do information technology. I was in software testing. Um, done a lot of business analysis kind of stuff, so I'm looking more in the business analysis than the testing side, but I could do either. And either one I really don't, I mean, you don't have to be in person for a lot of it. Some of it, you know, might be useful to be in person, but especially testing, there's no need to be right there. A lot of time for testing, you work odd hours because you have to test on off hours, not saturate the network with your testing, and this, that, and the other. Crunch time weekends and such sometimes. Oh, I would like to stop dancing. I really would like to stop dancing. So I put in for some jobs here locally, finally got my resume polished up, I went through some uh, employment consulting courses that my previous company paid for, and blah 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 blah. And on to the actual applying such phase, which is probably the worst phase. Because I keep wanting to scream at the people that are hiring me. Look! I'm a people person, damn it! No. Not quite like that, but... Office space-wise, but, you know, this is the job on paper. What you say you need is on paper exactly what I am. Why are you not hiring me? I don't understand. I fit exactly. I want this job. Why are you not writing me back, calling me back something? I don't understand. Please, give me this job. I want it. I want to get a job settled so I don't have to worry about scrimping and saving on money when my severance runs out kind of stuff, you know? Just would like to get it set. I'd like to get some stuff done to the house. I'd like to get the windows replaced and some electrical work done and needs a new roof and some gutters. 
blah, blah, blah. Which I need income to afford. Although we have a house down the street that's been vacant for probably about a year. Yeah, about a year. And it's just been sitting there. I think it was a foreclosure, so it was bank owned. They didn't get rid of it for some reason. They didn't put it up on the market. Then it was up for a little while and back off again, and then up for a little while and back off again. And then this beat old, uh, beat up old truck started being in the driveway. And then last weekend, this weekend, there's a bunch more trucks and stuff and people there. So it looks like somebody bought it to uh, flip as nearest I can figure. And uh, they're working on it on weekends. So at least there's activity over there now. Something's going to be done with it. Which is nice to see. Oh, I never did look at it. I tempted sometimes, you know, see what other people's houses next to you look like. You know, especially if you don't know them. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bike shortage for you. For DA, Kerno. Wow, there's a couple things going on. Doing the house D channel. EE, Shroud, Crucible. Nah, I don't think I'll do that. I need 25k. That's all I need. What will give me 25k quickly? Ouch, my knee. Um, that I can really do easily. Let's see. I'll look. If I went back to House P and did some of those again, that would give me the 25k I need to level. And then maybe, well, it's already 2 o'clock. I'm going to stop probably around 3-ish. So i got maybe an hour left. Um, and I really want to get this level before I do that, so I probably won't switch characters. I'll probably just stay here. Unless I catch a shroud or something, which there was one up. I just don't think I feel like doing that at the moment. Which is sad. Because I could use a couple more shrouds. In fact, let me look at my raid completions on here. Raid completions. It says that I have done 38 shrouds. 37 Voltanites. So that being the case... Oh, there you go. Good, great idea. Great idea. Let's do Laud. Lords of Dust. I haven't done that today yet. I was going to join that group earlier and then I missed it. So, Great idea, bed for you. I forget about that unless there's a group up for it. For some reason. Just skips my mind. I'll just pop in Lord's Dust. Dog, what are you doing? Yep, that should do it. Inquisitor Nomen waits for you near the entrance. An irritated scowl. I don't know that I've ever sold this. Stay near me. I've done it in groups plenty of times, but I don't remember ever soloing it. Not that I just made any problems, but just commenting that I don't remember ever doing it. Thank you for giving me a bless after everybody's dead, because that helps. Their souls are cleansed. However, there may be more of them. We must press on.
I shall go this way and dispatch the rest of this villain. No, when you traitor, you're doing no such thing. You're alerting all your buddies to the fact that we're here. Yeah, see, in this case, it, it would make sense to have a red alert the entire way through this dungeon. I'm not going to deal with the optionals. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. Yeah, if you want to play on the Lunas, just let me know. Either my Tuesday nights or whatever else I'm on. Oh, come on. Dog, why do you have so many points? You're a dog. Chest here. Yeah, we're still trying to figure out the static group thing. I still want to know why there are level 15 quests you need to finish level 16 quests to get to. I would love to have some quests redone level-wise, because there's a couple like that, aren't there? There's a couple chains that have weird things like that. Doesn't make any sense at all. Just swap the levels on some of it would be good. We've run into that in our static because we're playing every quest in the game at level on Elite. And uh, we're noticing some of those discrepancies and some chains. Well, we can't do that one until we do this other one. But that other one's a different level. That makes no sense. Burning blood. Always fun for interrupting your looting. And lever pulling and such. As the path leads down, it begins to look more like a dark and sinister temple, and less like an empty warehouse. A dank chill pervades the lower level. Hello, everybody. I see a couple people joined. Hope everyone's doing well this afternoon now, for me at least. We'll just be safe and say today. Hope everyone's doing well today. You will do no such thing. The silver flame has caused enough trouble. Soon, nothing I can say will throw them off the scent. No, you will stay here and see that no one gets by. I will, I will entertain our guests. Our guest. Those death knights can get pretty intense on harder difficulties. In the center of this room stands a blood-stained altar. What unspeakable acts have been performed there? It's a blood-stained altar. I think you can tell what unspeakable acts have been performed because there are evidence of it all around. All the blood stains, you know. Don't know. Not sure what you mean. I've seen lots of people say they can fit studio. But I don't think it's just one problem. I think DDO is an older game at this point, and you're not going to get a big time cash investment from 
parent company to do anything but keep it going, and then at cer a certain point it will be determined that it's not holding its weight, and it needs to be gone, and it'll be gone. I hope that's further down the line than sooner. I hope people keep trying it out, and people who are, have played it before come back, and uh, hope it survives for a couple more years, but I gotta say, it definitely has a decline population from when I remember playing, as far as I can tell. Unless everybody has gone to guild and private channels, then don't hug much, because the LFMs are way less than they used to be, the number of instances of public areas, even on event days, weekends and such, are less than they used to be. Um, I think at some point they're going to talk server consolidation, probably. But I don't think it's going to ever be rewritten. Or, I know people want some graphic updates and stuff, I don't think that's going to happen. I think you might see some UI updates, you'll see some more updates, you might see, see even more reworking of existing content, if Temple of Elemental Evil and these Haunted Hall style re imaginings of classic modules brings in people, then you'll see more of that. Probably, because it's, you know, it can be easily demonstrated that's bringing in people um, and there, thus money. But, yeah. I don't think we're going to see the game around in a couple years. Which is sad, because I really do enjoy the game, and I really enjoy what they've accomplished with it. I really dislike Neverwinter, so I don't think that's a replacement at all for this. Um, yeah. I think anybody who thinks they can, you know, just dive right in and fix, fix it isn't really going to... well, it's not possible for one. I don't know how many million lines of code are in this, but if one person just go in and fix all the bugs and all that stuff is just unreasonable. Plus the fact that you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be allowed to, plus, you know, there's all the oversight and time restrictions if you were employed by them, and it just... You know, I've worked in big companies, and it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so, it's easy to sit on the outside and say, oh, I could do that. And it's another being in the reality where, you know, that's not one of your assignments. You're not able to do that. Hey, Ninth Pond, how's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Good to see you. Hello. Hey, look, there we go. Ready to level. Bad for you. That was an awesome suggestion. Got me just enough to get over the level hump there. Just what I needed. Yeah, not too bad. Just doing more of the epic grind. Nothing particular. Hey, Mist, how's it going? Glad to see you in. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, comms. I hate taking comms, but they can be turned into seeds, so they're useful. I just keep filling up my bag with them. Like a lot of the stuff that the developers are working on that I know of and you know they don't tell us everything so keep that in mind but raid train and remnant farm run awesome hope you got some good stuff that way but uh, you know anything like ladder bugs or the things that aren't shown in the UI that you have stats for or just something like leaderboards at the end of every level that show you where you compare as far as anything. 
you know, hit points wasted, uh, hit points healed, spell points used. Of course, time to complete's the big one. Speed running things and compare with you know different races and classes and all that stuff. I would love to see those. There's a bunch of UI improvements that could be made made all around that would be amazing. Um, wow, 349 remnants on one run. That's that seems really high. That's that's really profitable. Yeah, I checked my remnants. I only have like three or four thousand, so I'm nowhere near where I need to be to get anything. So, oh well, I'll just keep collecting them slowly, and eventually I'll get enough to get something useful. But you know, if if I could do that, yeah, I saw a LFM up for Hunter Hall's EE remnant farming earlier. I didn't get in on it. Maybe I should have. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I would love to do, but I know that it wouldn't be really justifiable as a business case to do so, and uh, wouldn't get done. But if I w was able to do that, I would do a lot of little things like that. Because I'm happy with the game otherwise. There's just some things that, there's some UI issues that, I see that I would like to fix and some just general information stuff that's just not there that would be useful. I mean, I know the game's 10 years old, but can we have a better way to compare items than just have to look at every stat line by line? Can you have some sort of color coding or font differences or something showing something's better than what you have? So you can at a glance see that speed 5 is better than speed, or speed, yes, yeah, speed 6 is better than speed 5 kind of stuff, you know? Just little things like that, improvements to the character sheet. There's a lot of information here. There's a lot of more information it doesn't show. I'm glad they're they're doing the spell power improvement, where it shows you your critical chance and critical multipliers. That's going to be nice to have on Monday. Um, there could be more tabs down the side to show other stuff. The skills thing is really wonky. I'd love just to be able to see you know where are my tomes quickly rather than having to go each one and feats can use some work why are some things nested and some things aren't and uh, what else was there enhancements with the enhanced path they did okay with that but there's some stuff there there's stuff in the inventory that's still annoying yeah you know, there's lots of stuff I'd like to see fixed that I would love to be able to get in on and do stuff but you know I'm not, I can't, won't be able to. And I accept that. But the game is kind of a miracle. It's as good as it is in some ways. Yep, that's kind of the way I see it, Ninth Pond. Yep, missed. And there, you know, there are things like that that, you know, there are known things that are just there that would you please just fix? And then things like um, descriptions being wrong or values being wrong that's oh that's so annoying to me why did that pass I know why it passes but it shouldn't if something is wrong then you need to remove it or fix it don't keep it being wrong just that gets to me but you know I wasn't like I said I was in software testing I understand how it all works somebody says hey look uh, we appreciate you finding that, but it's not going to get fixed because we have these other things that are more important and we have committed to shipping on Monday. So, yeah. Sorry. And it's so frustrating, especially when they come back release after release after release and they're still there. You're like, but I identified that 10 releases ago. Why is it still here? It's so frustrating. It really is. And I know that developers are probably frustrated with it as well because they're like, if I just had a little bit more time to do that or somebody you know carve out the time for somebody to do that but not me and it just doesn't happen I understand I just don't like it so yeah um, yeah it's just you know this game is a lot of fun it's based on D&D &D. it has that background it's got the flexibility with the character creation that I have nothing against the art style the way it is I like it 
I don't think it's perfect, but I like it. It's not overly cartoony, like a lot of games are. I, I don't think that fits with this game, or this style of game. I don't think the cartooniness fits with it, so I'm glad they didn't go that route. They went, went semi-realistic with it. Um, but yeah, there's just so many little things that I would love if they would improve. But you know what? And to a certain extent, they're right because we're still here anyway and we're still playing, right? Even with those little things happening. So the real driver is more money and more money. To get more money, you need more content to sell and you need more people to come back to experience that new content that were here before and got bored. So you need new content constantly to keep that going. I understand that. I do. I just wish money didn't drive everything, you know? I wish we could say, hey, look, you know what we need is quality. Quality is what we need first. And let's fix all that stuff that's outstanding, all those little annoying bugs that are here and there, and all the little inaccuracies that add up after a while, and let's get those fixed. Let's figure out the other sources lag and get rid of those. Let's figure out the ladder bug issues and get rid of those. Let's figure out those little, little ledges that you can barely see but stop your character. Let's fix those. Let's fix those things that break you out of enjoying being playing your character in the game and say, oh yeah, this is an interface that I'm using. You know, those things that get in the way of that. Let's get rid of all that stuff. Fix it all. And then let's look at new content and new fun things. So you can see here, this is my character that's done the most in the game. And I am at 43.75 favor. Not quite the 5k mark. And you can see there's still stuff I haven't done. I haven't done Dreaming Dark, Lord of Blades, Eye of the Titan, Mining for Ancient Secrets, Raiding the Giant's Fault, Memories, Vision of Destruction I've never done. Dream Conspiracy. Fashion Madness. Find the Path. You know, you can see there's Subterrain and Inspired Quarter in particular I haven't done on this character. Palace of Stone. Shipwreck Spy. Terminal Delirium. And this is the character I've done the most on. So there's still content I haven't experienced yet. Everything else down here is Elite or Epic Elite, so up to Crucible, I've done everything on Elite or Epic Elite. And there's Running with the Devils and Crucible that ruin it up through here. But, you know, there's still content for me to play. <laughs> I haven't done, there's still loot for me to get that I haven't done. I mean, there's a lot of stuff yet to do in this game, and I haven't even finished all the content. And I haven't even done some of the content on the hardest difficulties. So... To me, there's plenty of content, there's plenty of loot, there's plenty of character progression and growth at the moment. And I would like to see more changes in, like splitting epic and heroic, so you can see what you've done epic and heroic as far as quest completions. And I haven't done a lot of the challenges yet. And I haven't finished Wilderness Explorers, and I haven't got all the favor. You know, like I said, I'm kind of set for a while still on content. What I want is those other improvements that make playing more fun, make inventory management more convenient. Like, why do we have three different kinds of banks? Let's get the banks situated. I hate the shared or the personal bank style. I want the shared bank style. Where it's line by line, you can see the name of everything. You have to hover everything to figure out what it is. Which, by the way, doesn't work sometimes. You know, <laughs> there's all that little stuff that happens. I, I really would, my wish list would be all that kind of stuff. And very little in the way of new content. New classic modules, awesome. Epify existing stuff, awesome. I would love to see the end game be Epic Corthos and be like level 60 or something. 
you know, that would be awesome. Something to work towards and strive towards. Like, oh, I got to get all this other stuff together first. Get all this gear. Be ready for it so that when I get in there and play it, I can survive. You know, that would be a lot of fun, I think. But my prayer is different, I think, than a lot of people's. So, yeah, the battle system and the character creation, I think, are the two things that go for it. From what I've seen of things like, you know, Final Fantasy Online, all you're doing is sitting there waiting for your skills to come off timer, and then you hit them, and then you wait for the next timer to come off, and you hit that thing. You're otherwise just standing there. Uh, why? In this game, you can jump and duck and dodge and weave and tumble and get behind stuff and do all this stuff. It's really lively, interactive battle. They did a really good job with that. And you've got you know, the really flexible character creation that nothing can compare to, I don't think. So flexible, so many different options in the way you can create your characters and the little customizations you can do here and there and all that stuff. You know, different gear and different weapons and different enhancements and different feats. Even if you have the same classes, it's complete makes it completely different to play. So, yes, I do agree with um, Sword Coast Legends. Looks pretty interesting. It's obviously different, but some of the things they've they've shown off are neat. I like the DM adversarial. Uh, was it threat pool generation? It reminds me of the board game Descent. Um, if you ever play the board game Descent, you have something similar. You have a deck of cards that's for your threat, and you can pull cards and use them to do different things and harass the players, kind of like that. It's pretty neat. Um, I also have some of the D&D board games that are interesting. Um, yeah, that is the one benefit and downfall of the character creation system is that it is rough to get started with. You know, If you're not familiar with pen and paper D&D, and you come into this, then you, it's easy to quickly get lost because you have no idea how all the different things interact. You have all these different pieces to work with. You've got your feats and your stats and your skills and your enhancements, and they all work together. And you don't understand that at first if you don't have experience with it. And I, my experience is mostly with second edition D&D, so it's still a little different, but it was understandable at a basic level. But yeah, you know that's all good stuff. Yeah, missed. I understand those of you that have been playing constantly since the beta might get a little bored with the content. And some people who have gotten, you know, multiple completionists are getting might get bored with having run everything a couple times and you know all that. I understand that. But I really think what would make me enjoy the game more is to I mean, even like if you look at my screen right now, if you do not play a fighter slash monk. You don't have any idea what half the stuff on my bars are for the first in the first place. If you aren't in the epic destiny that I'm in, you don't have, know what some of the stuff in my bar is. If you don't have epic past lives, you don't know what stuff some of the stuff on my bar is. If you don't have my exact weapons, you have no idea what my weapons are. You can see they're probably mostly great axes, but you know what? I don't understand what is the difference between that one and that one. I mean, you may have an idea that there's two green steels on there and stuff like that, and you can see maybe there's Thunderforge, but you'd have no idea what the three in the middle are and the one on the one end is. And then if you look at my bars to the right, unless you use those same potions, like I don't, I can't tell what those potions are. I know that the one this far up is this, because that's where I put it. I always put it there. Every time I re Epic Reincarnate, I put that same potion in the same slot so I can find it. But as far as actually be looking at it to use it, that the icon for what the potion is should be way, way bigger than the fact that it's a potion. In fact, I think they have the sizes inverted. It should be at least half and half, if not inverted to what? one to three, something like that, ratio of size, the icon of what it does is more important than the fact that it's a potion. Shrink it so it's a potion. So say, oh yeah, that little thing means the potion. And make it really big as to say, what the heck does it do? And even then, a lot of them are so similar that it's hard to tell apart unless you use them constantly or look at them constantly or you have had a 
cleric, for example, with all the re removal neutralization spells and stuff, and you know them kind of thing. Same with scrolls. Scrolls are hard to tell what they do. The scroll, the fact that the scroll is way bigger than the icon, that should be completely changed. Um, I would like to see little indicators that there's augments and that whether they're filled or not on any of these small pictures of the items. That would be handy. Um, there's just all sorts of that. The bags could show that they're empty occupied or filled based on the size that the bag shows. They don't have to show the same round size. Uh, yeah, there's just a ton of stuff like that, just user interface improvements that could be done to really help play the game. Not to the extent of other games having these really cartoonish things. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying just more easily readily identifiable as what they do. Like it's can you tell which potion just by looking at it is a silver flame potion versus a non-silver flame potion? It's just another plus. What's the difference between the big plus that I have as a stance and one of the other pluses on here? Uh, unless you're familiar with it, you don't know. It's just this game is dense. And I think you know a lot of UI improvements would help, a lot of tweaks and bug fixes would help that a long way. But you know. I actually started playing MERP. My role playing pen and paper. I started with Middle Earth role playing. That was my first role playing game. So that was fun. I liked that in some ways better than D&D because it had descriptive tables for whatever happened. My favorite one was you could only get it if you ended up rolling a negative 20, which means that you had you rolled like a 1 and then had modifiers because you were doing certain things down to that level, but it was you charge them with your lance, and instead of hitting them, you plant it in the ground, and flip off of your horse, and damage you know however many yards away because you fly through the air and land in a heap on the ground. That's awesome. It gave you those you know descriptions of what happened rather than just saying ah oh, you, you get hit for three points and blah blah blah. It was a lot more robust system for especially starting out role playing because you know those first time you role play unless you have somebody experienced to help you you really don't know what you're doing the friend and I that were playing we really didn't know what we were doing so we're like hey this seems neat let's try this so yeah I enjoyed those early games so then we switched to AD&D second edition we were right on the edge of first and second edition so we had like the first edition DM screen but the second edition books and then later on I lucked out at a garage sale and I got like deities and demigods really cheap and then it was the version that has the squids and all that stuff. And then I then I went to Shadowrun, and I pretty much just played Shadowrun. Although I did play a little bit of Vampire, Masquerade, and Champions, Hero System. And I think I played GURPS once as well. But yeah, that was back in grade school, high school, college, whatever. Ah, uh, cat! You have a scratching post. Use the scratching post, not the wall. So, yeah. See, I looked at Pillars of Eternity, but I'm one of the people who didn't like Baldur's Gate. Um, I thought the Baldur's Gate kind of games emphasized too much of the parts of the role-playing experience I didn't like. Like, oh, hey, look, it's travel. And, of course, back when it came out, it was, okay, you're traveling. So now you have to insert this other disk, and okay, wait for that to load. Okay, now, now you're still traveling and traveling. Oh, now you get a random encounter. Now you're traveling, traveling, traveling. Oh, wait a minute. Did you want to turn around and go back to there? Okay, switch disks again. And, uh, uh, it just was, I didn't like it. I played Enhanced Edition within the last year or so on Steam, and it was a little better, but still wasn't that great for me. I like the old gold box games, Pool of Radiance and Azure Bonds, and those were a lot of fun to me. Those were the games I really enjoyed. I've seen Pillars of Eternity, and I may get that at some point, but if you look at my Steam profile, you'll see I have something like 1,600 games on Steam, so I've got quite a variety of other games to play, and yet I end up playing this most days. So, yeah. I don't have a lack of other games. And I even want to play some of those other games. I haven't played enough of them. 
I like to play some more Don't Starve and some more Binding of Isaac and um, Crypt of the Necrodancer, Wizard's Lizard, Ancient Planet. Uh, to a certain extent, the new Shadowrun stuff, but uh, yeah, Champions and Kryn. Yep. But uh, yeah. Lots and lots of stuff. But I don't pen and paper anymore. If I, anything, we play board games when people get together in person. But I don't even do that very often. It's mostly just computer games. So, And, you know, if I feel like... Yeah, Dragonlance. Yeah, everything Dragonlance. Fallout 3. Yep, I played that. See, my problem with, like, Oblivion and Fallout 3 and stuff is that I got... Co so caught up in all the side plots that I never finished the main plot of the game. Like, oh, well, cool, I can go over here and do this, and oh, they want me to go over here and do this, and okay, they want me to go over here and do this, and then I can do this, and I, oh, now I've got 300 quests. What was the main storyline quest again? Eh, whatever, I'm having more fun doing this. So I never finished them. I played quite a bit of Fallout 3. I liked that a lot. Um, I haven't played Skyrim yet, because I, I never finished Oblivion, so why would I play Skyrim? Um... And, uh, yeah, I spent way too much money on the Kickstarter for the new Shadowrun Online, which is now since been renamed because they realized that, oh, you know what, Shadow Online really doesn't convey the fact that we're not really an MMO, but we sort of are, because you can sort of play with friends, but it's not really free roaming and stuff. I'm like, you know what, that would have been really great to put in two years ago when you started the campaign. It would have been really great to figure that out now before I spent all this money on it. But anyway, so Shadow Online is going to come out at some time. I keep popping into the... Um, alphas or betas, whatever they're into now, and going, oh man, I paid for this? Ugh. Hey, bad for you. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. And, you know, I've heard so many incredible things that people have done in Skyrim. I'm thinking, well, you know what? There were so many things in Oblivion that I never got to. So why would I start Skyrim? I don't know. And then I liked, you know, I liked Bioshock, the Bioshock series, especially the first one, and then Infinite was pretty good. And, oh yeah, the gnomes and Kendern, and Dragonlance stuff, yep. And then, uh, yeah, I played a lot of games. And, I, you know, the problem with the MMO, of course, is it's a time sink. So it's really selfish kind of game because you aren't going to see too much. Oh, they're finally starting. The two of them. Ugh, that's rough. After all that. Yeah, and I, you know, I read all the D and D novels that were out at the time, and I enjoyed all the different characters and settings, and the Forgotten Realms, and the Dragonlance, and Dark Sun, and you know, all that fun stuff. And it was a good time. And Spellfire, and yeah, I, I enjoyed those. But I've my focus has shifted somewhat, and I don't... The time commitment that pen and paper takes, and then... It's not only the time commitment, but it's the people. And you have to have people that are willing to do that role-play thing. To make it really fun. And too often I find in the role-playing groups that I've seen and been in, is that people are more min-maxed, munchkin-y, rules lawyer -y, or st stat-based than the story role play acting part of it and it's really odd when you get when you don't have the right balance of that because I mean to a certain extent you need somebody who you know understands the rules and you need somebody who knows the systems and stuff but birthright I think I played a little bit of that if I remember right I don't remember, but you know, some of the stuff I played with people who were min-maxers, and then that upset the balancer thing, and you had DMs of various levels of competency or entertainment value. Like, one was a really good storyteller, and one would do things one way, another would do things a different way, and some some are very relaxed about things, or some are very uptight and rules lawyer about things. And You know, it, I find it more rewarding to play board games now and if I'm in person with people than 
to role play. And it's a shame to some extent. We, we did one of those um, host, hosting a mystery party kind of things, you know. There's a whole series of those things. And we did one of those a while back, and it was it went decently. Um, I didn't realize it was so, so very much uh, role-playing. I didn't realize it was quite that extent role-playing. But it turned out okay for the group we had, considering that half the people didn't really know each other. And it was okay. It was, it was interesting difference, but I wouldn't want not want to play anything deeper role playing with the same group. It just I don't think it would work very well. So yeah, and plus it's hard to get people together for regularly for that many hours. And if you don't play regularly, then you sort of lose the thread of what's going on, your characters, and all that stuff. So I guess people people do it. And then of course there's the online. I I backed uh, what was it Roll Twenty? I think the one of the virtual. There's several. Of them, I, I used previous ones, but Roll Twenty, I think one I backed on Kickstarter, and it's neat, and I enjoy it, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Even the people that I know that would do it, getting them together to do anything more than play some like online Magic Duels with Planeswalker is ridiculous. The scheduling involved, so that, that's another thing. I you know I don't feel like doing that sometimes. Like, that's the problem with a regular group like that. If you don't feel like going, you kind of let the group down. It's like playing a static group in EDO, right? If you move that, if you don't attend one week, well, what was everybody else supposed to do? You're gone. What happens? Oh, Spelljammer. Spelljammer was awesome. When that came out, that was amazing. I loved that. I don't think we played with it much, but it was just awesome to see the ships and read the rules and experience that kind of thing. It's a magic-based spacefaring thing. That was awesome. Yeah, the DM is one of the cornerstones for a good PNP group, I think. But the, the players are equally important. You can't have too many personality conflicts and such, or else it breaks down. Well, I don't feel like playing Shaw anymore at the moment. Let's see if there's something else I can bring on. While I'm doing that, let me pop up my self-promo to embed that in the stream a little bit. Or in the VOD, I should say. Um, gosh, I don't even know what I want to do. Well, let's see what VAR has going on. <laughs> And a little bit of DDO stream in there as well. Yeah, I don't know how, how people balance the uh, pen and paper group and an MMO at the same time. It just seems to be really complicated, especially if you're in a static group on your MMO too. Now, I have seen where people are saying, oh, hey, I'm waiting for something in another MMO while I'm playing DDO, or waiting for something in DDO while I'm playing another MMO kind of thing. Like, how do you do that? You can't possibly actually be running. You can be piking, but I don't think you can be actually running both. Oh, I did get some points in Shadow Dancer. What can I do? Shadow Dancer for a sorcerer is it completely different from Shadow Dancer for a rogue? That's for sure. Oh, I need to. Here's some inventory. Looks like the other thing I need to do is green steel on here. Which, by the way, is there a shroud up? Because I can just shroud on here. Nope. Okay. Good to know. Uh, 
and things like that. Well, why does the shop window always go in that corner that where it's hidden by my bars and the mini map? Why does it not stay where I want it to? I don't need clever. I don't need wisdom necessarily. Don't need any of that. Hey, elixir. Elixirs are always useful. Hmm. Nothing good going on here either. I guess I, I really enjoyed the discussion about uh, playing games and such. That's so. I have a problem making small talk with people because I don't care about it basically. Like I don't really care what you should do or what the weather is. But when you get me in on something that I enjoy and can relate to, that's a completely different matter. Then I enjoy talking with people and seeing different points of view and all that. So yeah, awesome discussion about that. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Pop over and see. Do, am I still in Steam? I am still in Steam. I got another friend request. How about that? Oh, and then there's Wasteland. Yeah. I was going to pop over and see what I have installed on Steam right now besides the garbage that I have because of... Uh, cards, but... Same thing, Ninth Pond. If somebody you know, says, hey, do you like X or what kind of books do you like or movies or video games or something, you know, I can respond to that and say, hey, you know, I can talk to you about this. We can discuss stuff. But if it's just, hey, hi, hi, how you doing? Good. I'm okay. How are you? Great. That's about it. That's all I got. Got to work on that segue into something I'm interested in. So let's see, I've got Faster Than Light, Hero Siege, Mark of the Ninja, which, by the way, I love Mark of the Ninja. That's an awesome, awesome game. Can't get off my plate. Rogue Legacy, which is awesome. Um, the new Shadowrun stuff is okay. I thought I would like it more than I do. Um, I would like to see a new Shadowrun. More like the Shadowrun they did on Xbox. More like DDO Shadowrun. That would be awesome. Rather than the crap that they're doing for Shadowrun Online, Chronicles, whatever you call it. I talk about classics. I have Shuffle Book Cantina Deluxe on here. Um, Ancient ha Planet Beat Hazard, which is a good rhythm game. Bro Force, which is kind of like an old, uh, what's that, Contra kind of game. Very good. Curse of the Necrodancer, which is a fun rhythm game. Don't Starve, of course, is great. Goat Simulator is just amazing if you haven't played it. It's a lot of fun. Gone Home, I haven't played yet. Magic 2014, because, you know, Magic. Nidhogg is a great fencing simulator game kind of thing. Very basic graphics, but a lot of fun. Good response. Need a controller, though. Papers, Please is interesting. Risk of Rain was neat. Yeah, Rogue Legacy just didn't get to pop in and out of. You're right. Haven't really played Risk of Rain. Rock of Ages is kind of fun. Um, Shadowrun. Thief, which I keep meaning to play. Titan Attacks, which is basically Space Invaders updated. Town of Salem, which is, if you've ever played Werewolf or Mafia or one of those social games like that, it's the same thing online. Interesting. Typewriter is a very neat platformer that uses typefaces as levels. Wasteland 2, of course. Waveform I haven't installed yet. That was kind of interesting. Wizard's Lizard is a nice little roguelike kind of... Um, looks more like Zelda, kind of like um, Binding of Isaac, but a little different. And Ease Origin. Those are the ones I've installed besides DDO. So those I keep, I've kept around to pop into now and then just for something different. Then of course I got a bunch of stuff on the PS4 to play, and so the PS3 and the Xbox 360 and the Ouya. So yeah, I like I like games, but uh, Masquerade from my CCP. Huh? Had no idea. I, you know, I used to keep track of all that stuff, and I don't anymore. I thought the Vampire Masquerade system was interesting the one time I played it. The Blood Pool and different stuff. Uh, 
it was interesting. But uh, I don't know that I'd play it again, really. I keep getting random fr friend requests from new accounts. And now I have, there we go, pop up over that. So by the way, if you are on Steam and you would like to add me, that's cool. Just make sure you tell me who it is. Because I, I get a lot of junk invites. Oh, hey, look, I got a, another free booster pack. Yay. I got 48 pages of cards and stuff in my inventory on Steam. I need to crunch some again or trade some in. Anyway, I think that's all. I'm kind of out of Steam for DDO today. Um, I want to go do something else for a while. And I uh, am kind of tired of streaming to them. Headphones are, even though I have comfortable headphones after a couple hours, they get, uh, it's been about five and a half hours since I started streaming, and they get kind of, yeah. Pillars of Eternity, Diablo 3. Huh, that's interesting. The console version, you like it better? I thought about it, but I played the D3 demo, and I was like, yep, this is Diablo. I don't even... Don't even care. <laughs> uh, Pillars of Eternity, I've seen, was interesting. And then, uh, yeah, I really haven't done consoles too much. Um, I played on my Vita a little bit. played on the PS4 a little bit. Mostly been PC lately. And working on an MMO based on Werewolf and Vampires, but canceled. Huh. I, I could see that being fairly popular. Still. Um, I wonder... Well, there's so many reasons why it could have been canceled. For one, realizing MMOs are not the money machine they appear to be at first glance. There's a lot of work and maintenance and people, hardware, bandwidth involved in keeping them running. So, if you've seen the Goat Simulator MMO, it's hilarious. So they took Goat Simulator and did this MMO thing where it you have mini quests and they have the chat, like an MMO, so you have people saying, hey, I've got X item for some ridiculous amount of money and stuff. And it's it's amusing to check out at least at once. That update was hilarious. Oh, it's the Eve Company. That's interesting. Yeah. Some of the game worlds are, you'd think they would be right up there for MMOs, but... MMOs are tricky to pull off, you know? I played MUDs for years, and there were some that were good, and there were some that were bad. But the cost was so low to get into an MMO at the time. You know, a, a MUD at the time. They're basically free. People ran them off of their universities, servers, and bandwidth, and it wasn't a big deal. The software was free. You could modify it as you wanted. And uh, it was a good time. I liked some of the mods I used to play in. They prepared me for DDO and such. They work a lot of the same ways. Economies are similar and such. So yeah. I keep seeing a lot of stuff up there, but you know, I have that whole thing where if it's if you want me to pay for it, then it can't be a monthly subscription. If it's a monthly subscription, then I don't want to pay for it up front. I need to to try it out for free and see if I like it and play it for a while. And that's the other thing I think that DDO has going for it is Turbine's free-to-play model works. I think it's a good balance between, you know, subscription and pure free-to-play. You can earn the points in-game to get anything in the game, pretty much. It's, it's there. If you want to grind for it, you can get anything you want in the game by grinding. And there are ways to optimize your grind and all that. And I appreciate that. And that's, I think, one of the reasons I spent more money on it, because I didn't have to. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, that was so attractive to me that I didn't have to. That it's like, okay, well, if I don't have to, then all I'm really doing right here is saving a little bit of time. It's not that I'm, you know, having to pay money to get this thing that I want. It's, I'm just saving time, grind time doing it. I'm grinding the XP and not the turbine points, basically. I don't want to just grind favor. I want it to do the 
because the XP grind is part of the game, right? That, that's part of it. And the farming grind to some extent is part of the game. So, you know, you expect that. But they had that other grind that is favor, that is turbine points, that is saving you money, which is awesome that they have that as part of it. And I really appreciate that. So, yeah. Anything else you guys want to talk about? I still got a couple more minutes if you guys want to talk. Otherwise, I'm going to call it for the day. Get up and wander around a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, ninth one. Spend a lot more money because they aren't charging you. And, you know, the, the game is pretty open. You can get to level... 20 for free. You don't have to worry about it. You'll you'll be there. You may have to grind a couple quests a little over and over again, but you'll get there. Let me see, Jokazra. I haven't checked in a while. I see you said arg a while ago. Let me reload your channel and see what happens. If you still need help, I don't mind helping you chat off and on while I'm doing this. Hey, up! You have a stream up, Joe Kosher. I see you standing there in Corthos. Looks like level seven-ish. Yep, it's working. I see it, Joe Kosher. Grats, you got it working. Awesome, awesome stuff. Why is it full screen? I didn't want it to be full screen. Oh, there we go. So yeah, again, thanks everybody for stopping by today. It's been a blast. Really enjoyed our conversations. Um, you watched me play, making comments, all that stuff. It's been a good time. So uh, hopefully I'll see you Tuesday and in the future. And again, as always, my stream today will be archived on YouTube. It'll be on Twitch for a while. Um, appreciate follows and <laughs> roll a one for skunk. Yeah. And all that stuff. Uh, yeah, feel free to feel, follow me on Steam or Twitter. Check out my website, YouTubes, all that fun stuff. really want to try to build my channel up and all that fun stuff. Oh, Windows 8. Blech. I think don't know. I don't have Windows 8 anymore. I went back to a 7 because, yeah. Anyway, Dags, yep, thanks you. Thanks, Skunk, Ninth Pawn, Joe Kazra. Let's see, Walk78, El Poirier, not out. Joe Kazra, Ninth Pawn, Skunk City, um, Mist, Tortuga, Client Side, Helena, everybody for dropping by today. Do appreciate it and hope to see you in the future again. Thanks a lot. Oh, and Joe Cosra is streaming DDO right now, so you can hop over to Joe Cosra and check them out.